Tonight on Game Night, join Nikki, Dave, myself, Aaron, and Lincoln as we play Imperial Settlers, a card game with civilizations to care about. Designed by Ignacy Chevichek, published by Portal Games, and it plays one to four players in about 30 minutes per player. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Hey, Lincoln. Would you teach us Imperial Settlers? I will. It has nothing to do with Imperial or Settlers. Okay. Those games put them out of your mind, uh, but let's settle some empires. This is a uh, new game from Ignacy Chechevik, who also designed 51st State, which this game reuses the basic core card mechanism of, uh, although it has a lot more stuff going on and things tacked onto it. It's a really neat little sort of empire builder throughout our cards, and Lincoln's playing the Japanese, Nikki's playing the Egyptians, Dave's playing the Barbarian Empire, and I got the Roman Empire. Those are the four that this game comes with in the basic box. There, there will probably be expansions at some point in the future. And so we're each gonna build this tableau in front of us of cards, card locations, and generate resources. And of course, like all great empires, try to score victory points. That's how you determine the winner and the most VPs at the end. We each have a 30 card faction deck, which is totally different for each of us. That's what gives our empire the flavor and specialty, specialties and specializations and your more powerful and valuable buildings are in here. Um, to jump ahead right to the end for a second, all your faction buildings, every single one, is worth two victory points. And every common building, which is this other deck, the other kind of buildings you can build, is worth one. So your end game score is really simple. It's whatever victory points you've generated in throughout the game, and then one point for every common building and two point for every faction buildings. Real simple scoring. Um, so, so you will have these hands of cards. We're all gonna start with a few, and then you gain a few throughout the game. And you can do many things with them, uh, one of which is build them and lay them out here in your empire. You put the common cards on the right side of your empire board. You put your faction cards on the left side. That makes scoring very simple when you, uh, at the end of the game. They also have backgrounds that match. My Romans have, or everybody has green grass on the common side, and then their empire color on the left side. So the, the background and the foundation of the card. Oh, I see. Yours is stone, and mine's mine stone. is like, Yours is like sort of dirt, dirty something. grass, and Nikki's is desert here for the Egyptian side. And Lincoln's is just a greener grass of the, the fertile fields of Japan. Yes. So these cards have a bunch of different information segments on them. <laughs> um, the common cards all have a cost to build in resources, a raise to gain field when that building is raised to the ground either by myself out of my hand or by one of you offensively, whoever raises it will get this. In this case, it's two cards. This field gets you two food. Um, your faction cards generally do not have that field. Only common cards can be raised for the most part. Um, the third field is the, the main ability of the card, the main function of the building once you've built it. And they come in three different types. Production buildings go up here in the top row. Uh, they will produce a good or a card or a victory point every turn, essentially. So they, they pump out production stuff. Features go here in the middle. Um, they will generally provide you a special ability, some, some bonus points or something like that. Some of them actually provide you nothing but just give you a single one-time bonus when you build it. A lot of buildings have a building bonus that provide an extra card or a good or a worker or something when you build the building. But that's just a one-time thing when you lay it down. And then the bottom row is for action cards. Once you build that building, it becomes a space that you can actually activate for a special ability. You might be able to convert something into victory points, you might be able to uh, gain more, draw more cards, stuff like that. Um, and the last field on these multi-use cards, on the faction cards only, is a deal section at the bottom. It's this blue arc at the bottom, and it always says, make a deal to produce something. And it shows you an icon. Let me tell you what the resources are. These little tomatoes are food. You have stone and wood, which are very useful for building buildings. You have gold, which is essentially a wild resource. It can be used to substitute for any one of those three things. You have workers, which are the little guys in your empire that do the work. 
and uh, you have raised tokens, which are these little swords. A deal could produce any one of those things, or it could produce a card draw or a victory point. The last, the last type of resource is a, a defense shield, but that'll never be produced by a card or a, res or a deal. We'll come back to what that does. So if you make a deal, and I'll explain that in the action phases, you tuck it down here, up here above your empire, upside down, and that is now added to your production. And that costs a food? That costs, a, it's a food. It's always one food to make a deal, but I'll reiterate that when we get to the action, different types of actions you can take. Um, this is added to your production. All of our empires produce slightly different stuff, but when it, your deals will add to that and your production cards will add to that. So that's, that's all the things that can be on a card. Um, a turn goes like this, a round, of which there are five. We play th this whole thing five times and that's the end of the game. We count up the victory points and the highest empire wins. The first thing we do, uh, we start with four cards pre, pre the game, pre setup. We each get four cards. It's two of our faction cards and two from this common deck. Then every turn, the lookout phase will bring you three new cards. You get one faction card in your hand straight off the top of your deck. There's no hand limit. You can have as many cards as you want. And then you'll get two common cards in this draft fashion. Lincoln's the start player. So we're going to throw out players plus one cards. For this game, it'll be five. And Lincoln simply looks, we all know what they are. Lincoln drafts first choice. Then Dave will draft one, I'll draft one, Nikki will draft one, and whatever's left will go away. Then we'll do the same thing in opposite order. Mickey will get the first choice of these five cards, and Lincoln will get the last choice when there's only two left, and the last one will go out of the game. So you've just gained three new cards at the start of every turn. Um, then we will do a production phase. That's the second thing that happens in every round. And in turn one, it's going to be real simple because your production is listed right there on your empire. You'll produce generally workers and possibly some of these other resources. And we all produce to start one raise token and one defense token. Um, like I said, the defense token will never change, but you can produce more of any of these things, and I'll explain that again later. So you, pr you collect your production from your empire tile, from any deals that you have made in previous turns. You'll gain that as well. You'll gain that as well, every turn for your production. Mm -hmm. uh, I just happened to throw two card draws out there, which is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for whatever production buildings you have up in this top row. If I had this already, this one produces a gold. Uh, that's not actually a production one. This one produces a card. When, generally when you see the card symbol on a production building or a deal or a raise, you can choose whether to draw it from your faction deck or, your, or the common deck. Um, there's a, maybe one card in here that actually says you get a common card for doing it. So otherwise it's your choice. And you can't, if my production is three cards, I can't look at the faction card that I first choose and then decide later what to do. I have to decide all at once. I'm taking two common and a faction or three faction cards or whatever. That's production, pretty simple. Um, then the main phase of the game is the action phase where starting with Lincoln, because he's a start player, we will all do one action in turn around the table. Uh, you can do as many actions as you have cards and goods and available actions to do once you pass you're out of the round and you're done um, here are the actions <laughs> as as dave mentioned making a deal costs one food or i could use a gold as the wild for that and that is always going to be with a faction card in my hand and it's always going to go up here and and add to my later production the good news is when you make a deal you also immediately get that good for the for the deal so if I did this, I would spend the food and immediately draw a card. Or you could spend the food and draw food, or a stone or a gold or whatever that deal provides. Um, the second type of action is build a building, build a location. Uh, that can be a common location or a faction location. You have to pay the goods lifted, listed up in the top left. That could be anywhere from zero goods to four goods. Um, if if it has a building bonus listed in the main text, you immediately get that reward. This one's a worker, this one's a card. If you build a production building, just like a deal, it immediately produces whatever it has. So 
Uh, there might even be situations where you would spend a food and immediately get two because your tomato fields harvest immediately. Um, this one I would spend whatever it is and get a gold. Now one part of the expenses here, one big factor, or factor in the game, is most of your faction locations require a location as part of their cost. Not all of them, occasionally there will be some that are normal. That's a little house a icon. A little house icon, thank you. <clears throat> there are uh, a couple ways to skirt around that responsibility, but there's two main ways to, to actually fulfill that need. One is you discard a common building. To build this building, I actually have to spend a stone and discard a common building out of my empire that I've previously built. Or, if I have a foundation, which would only be built by either a special card or one of the other players raising one of my buildings to the ground, that can fulfill the, that need as well. So that's not something that I will generally do on my own, but if one of you raised one of my buildings, and I'm about to explain that action just to be sure, this foundation will fulfill I'll discard it out of my empire again. It'll fulfill that location cost. Um, since your faction buildings are generally better and pay more and are indestructible and give you two victory points instead of one, a lot of your game will be building common locations and eventually getting rid of them when they don't do as much good anymore and building a better location on top of them. The third type of action is raise, and that's what these sword tokens or raise tokens are for. As I essentially described already, I can raise in one of two ways. Spend one token to raise out of my hand. I'm essentially just discarding a card. And I get the two resources listed on the top right of the card. Or I can be a hostile and raise somebody else's location. It costs two swords to do that. Uh, I still get the raise stuff in the top right. So in Dave's case, I would either raise his wood supplier for two wood or raise his baker for a victory point and a food, whatever I feel like I need that turn. And Dave flips over the one that I raised into a foundation. That's okay because he can still build over that with better buildings. And he gets a wood resource just straight out of the supply. That's, a, that's another nice, don't eat it. No, just eat the tomatoes. <laughs> that's another good thing he gets for when I raise one of his buildings. It's um, always wood? It is always wood. Okay. Um, the last two type of actions are action cards. As I mentioned down here, when you build an action building, it's a new option for you. For instance, this one lets me spend a stone to gain a victory point. I've done that. Boom, I gain a victory point here. Whenever you s trigger a building that has a cost like that, you should put the resource on the card. Because generally you can only do those buildings once a turn. Some of them will say maybe activated twice. Yeah. This one, I could actually do that. I could do it twice immediately if I had the two stone in front of me in my supply. Boom, I gain two victory points immediately. Or I could do that as two separate actions. Do this, gain my victory point, it's your turn, we go around the table, and I could do it again later in the turn if I wanted to. Even if you had the two stone, right? You yep. could just choose to do it's one. It's totally up to me. Okay. I might want to wait and see if I need that stone for something else yeah, if, if I think I'm drawing cards. Right. cards. Yeah. yeah. The last action, and it also has the same you can do it all at once or do it in pieces uh, aspect, is the, the action that we all have on our Empire card, which is two workers can be exchanged for any one of the basic resources, two workers for one food, or two workers for one stone, or two workers for one wood, or to draw a card, and that can be a pretty rich source of extra cards for you. Like I mentioned, it is your choice whether to draw a faction card or a common card. And if I, for instance, had eight workers, I could spend them all at once and say, I'm gonna take a food and a wood and one of each of these cards, and that's what I spent my eight workers on, <laughs> or I could break that up into as many actions as I felt like. I could just spend the two workers for a wood and then let Nikki take a turn. So you can stagger that out however you like. Once you pass, your, your turn is just passing, you are out for the round, you may not take any more actions. The good news is other people may not target you with any action. If I've passed for the round, Dave can't spend two swords to raise one of my locations. And there will be lots of buildings that will say, for instance, uh, you know, generate the goods from another player's production building, or steal a resource from another player, or 
do something else that takes one of their buildings out of their hand or something like that. You're not eligible to be targeted for any of that if you passed. So that's one reason you might accelerate your turn a little bit and, and, and pass before other people can mess with you. Once we've all passed, and here's a big kicker and a strategic thought in the game, once we've all passed, you discard everything you didn't use in the turn, uh, your workers, your gold, and your resources, and your raise tokens, except for the one thing that you can store an unlimited number of. Each empire is different. I can store an unlimited number of raise tokens, Egyptians is gold, Jap Japanese is food, and barbarians is workers. But other than that, you're losing everything that you didn't spend in the round. So you want to be as efficient as possible and not end the round with a wood, a stone, a food, <laughs> and, and, and a worker that you can't use, and then you, they go away. How are, how are our decks different from each other? <clears throat> they're, they're, they're very different. Uh, they're focused on different types of building, uh, buildings and resource generators. Um, yours produce more food than, than ours because... You use food to make deals, and you have a lot of uh, cards that play off of making deals. Nikki has a lot more gold generators and things to do with gold, because her empire is gold-focused, and she can hold an unlimited number of gold. Dave's, because he's barbarians, they're a little more aggressive, but they also do produce and use workers in a lot of ways. And mine is more a little more stone-focused. Uh, I get bonuses for doing things with stone, and a lot of... Uh, my buildings are much more likely to take stone than wood to build. Your Japanese empire is the most different because, unlike all the other ones, throw down a few of your faction cards. They actually have a raise to gain field, which none of the other factions do. A lot of them are victory points, so that means your faction cards, when they've built, are not totally safe. We can attack them with two swords and raise them to the ground. Huh. So in this... Uh, it also bypasses the normal foundation rule. You don't flip it over and gain a foundation, and you don't gain a wood for that. It's just gone, and whoever attacked you gains the victory point. Hmm. The good news is you can defend against that. You can assign uh, workers at any point during your turn, not as an action, one per card as a samurai. That would actually raise the cost uh, from two raised tokens to three. So, okay. so it makes it a lot tougher for us to do that if you put samurai on the building. Is it a limit of one? Can he add two samurai? It to is card? a limit of one. So the and most, so three, the most he can raise it to is three. Yes, and you're right, Dave. I didn't tell you what these defense tokens are for, but they're the they're the same thing. Uh, all of us may place this defense token, of which again you gain one per turn, and it goes away with all your other resources at the end of the turn. So you're only ever going to have this one. Does the work, does a samurai go away at the end? Samurai stays forever. He's a worker that oh, you spend, nice. but he stays for the entire game. So it's a permanent. It's a permanent, permanent plus shield one. essentially for the exactly. rest of the game. Mm -hmm. So this nice. shield, if I decide that this is my most valuable location, also increases the cost to raise that location to three swords instead of two. But you lose at the end of the round. Yes, and then you gain it back. Yes. Okay. And if, but if I'm if I'm the uh, fourth player. I can't do that until my turn comes around, so Nikki or Lincoln or you could actually get to that building ahead of time. I can't do this until it's my turn. But yeah, it's an extra protection layer for one of my common buildings every round. Is that an action? It is not an action. It is a free move during your turn as well as the samurai. I think that's everything, right? <laughs> I cool. think. Good luck, that actually, yeah. This is a game where that was the basic rules. They're very simple, but whenever you draw a card, it's going to be something new, and you're going to figure out what you want to do with it and how it's going to affect your strategy and what resources you're going to generate. Shuffle up your faction deck. Well, you guys probably shuffled yours. I did. Take two. Take two, yes. <clears throat> and then I'll also give you two common cards off the top of the deck, and that is your pre- Game. Yeah, really? yeah, you can look at them. Go ahead, look at them already. See oh, what you're going to be building, or what, or what. I don't know what I'm going to be. Doing. Or whether they're I more valuable as cards. deals, perhaps. I don't like any of these. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Wait, like, are we supposed to just? Get, oh, that's right. You, you get two and two to start. You get two and two to start. Then we do a lookout phase draft. Okay, so this is the this is the beginning beginning the special pre-game beginning setup. Right. Now we're starting round one. Well, yeah, exactly. You're right. Yeah, I did. Rem I remember the one thing I forgot. Oh, I, I explained okay, well. all the actions. I explained all the scoring. Um, as part of this action on your empire, 
I, I may have said this, but it's it's important to I did say it. You can draw a card with that with two workers as yeah, well. You that. I did say yeah, that. Yeah. It's just an important strategic consideration. Sometimes you're out of cards, and you just need to spend your workers on something. All right. Um, so this is the so pre This so is the pre setup. So now we draw one faction card. We now we do a lookout phase, which always starts with one faction card. So you all immediately draw one more card. Come on. What? Immediately draw mine? one more card. These yep. cards are silly. Fantastic. I like my cards. My cards are good. Then we'll do a lookout phase, and <clears throat> we Lincoln will get the first choice of. Why don't you read those all to us and tell us what they do? Okay, get. so we have okay. the village, which is uh, production it gains one uh, villager or worker, uh, and then if I build it, when I build it, I get another worker. Um, Mama's baths <laughs> produce uh, one uh, worker. worker for each pink building in your empire, so you can maximum three. So this is on production. If I had three workers. If I had three pink buildings, I would get a bonus of three. These being the pink buildings, right? Yes, that's, this the other, yellow, that's what I forgot to say. And there, are, there are lots of buildings that will trigger off of the color of the card, and it's that, that And this bar is the there. Gold Creek, which gives you one uh, gold coin. Uh, the Mason's Guild uh, action cards spend one uh, worker and two stone to gain three victory points. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then this one is a production. It just gives you uh, victory points. It's a monument. Cool. All right. Which one are you taking, Lincoln? And all of those have all raised good. stuff, too. <laughs> Everything is good, right? Gosh darn it. I guess I'm going to take the monument. Taking the it monument. It gives me a victory point okay. for every production round, which may not be there, but... And... I think I'm going to let Aaron get his gold production, because that's what he wants. So I'll, you know? I'll take this. Because you're oh, Roman. I like the... Because um, you're Roman. Mama's Baths actually has uh, two little kids trying to peek into the window <laughs> in the bathhouse. <laughs> Very nice. The art is really neat on these cards. They're like tiny little villagers, and all the and you can actually see them doing the thing that they're doing on the thing. Wow. Like, the baths is I actually I might take the baths. Do I? Have, I'm going to take the bathhouse. Because Roman's, Roman's, Romans baths. I I also don't produce a lot of workers, and I need to boost that. That's the other reason. So why. Mickey That's can the have the reason why I took that. Yeah. yeah. You can have one of those. That, I don't what know. Stone. I took this village. Two but really stone I took it and I'm a guy to get that. That's, that's expensive. expensive. Yeah. That's rough. We all do. I, I think I'm no, just going to do... No, I'm saying do... I, don't, I don't have anything else that produces wood. All right. This is, will only happen... Gold Creek is only going to happen one... No. During Every time production. Return. Yep. So I'll get rid of that one and I yeah. will take... All right. Gold now that he gets to draft. It's Nikki's turn to choose first. We have <clears throat> Imperial Messenger which is an action space to spend a worker to choose one of your deals and immediately produce the good that it's Nice. Yes, that's pretty good. So it's trade a worker for it's a It's trade a worker for one of your things. Not bad. Coal mine, spend a worker to gain two stone. Armorer produces Ooh. a sword, a raised token every turn. Meeting place does nothing, but the building bonus is one point for every pink location in your empire and draw a card. So that's a one-time thing, and then it does nothing until for the rest of the game. Till the end of the game? No, or you'd build over it, most likely. Uh, you right? raise it, And then a pig farmer is spend a worker and a food to gain two points. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna do the, grab the coal take mine. Take the coal mine? Yeah. I'm gonna take, she's the coal miner's daughter. Yeah. Well, should I take that? I think maybe I should take the armorer. I'm gonna take the armorer. I'll need to see them all because I wasn't paying any attention whatsoever when you guys were Dave. describing this. As usual. I was looking at my deck. <laughs> <laughs> Spend a worker to choose one of your deals. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get a deal. I'll take this. I'm gonna take the meeting place. You don't think you'll be getting a deal? Right now, all my deals are just for guys. Right. I, I don't want guys. Right, I want but that resources. That doesn't mean you won't be getting cards. Yeah, right? I know. But I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the pig farmer. He, he's it's the one that spend one person a, a food to gain two victory points. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, so now we produce. produce. Yeah, we now we have production, and like I said, first turn it's just what's listed there on your empire. So it will okay. definitely include a sword and a shield. Four peoples for me. Yep. A sword. Yep. A shield, which I already have sitting here, and a wood. All right, and I get five peoples and a sword and a shield. And I got a stone and a wood, and two peoples. All right, I get three and peoples, and a sword, and a gold, and a shield. Okie okay. doke. Then Lincoln will start the action phase. I will spend two workers for a wood. Dave? 
I am going to build this rune for free and take a guy for my bonus. Building bonus. Ruin, okay. Ruin. Ruin. You did it's kind of ruins. Build this ruin. I will take this ruins. I apologize for my diction. <laughs> I will build the armor for a stone and a wood. Arr. Which immediately produces an extra raised token, a sword. Uh, one thing I didn't really mention as a neat little art thing is the production buildings, the roads always link up with your town here. So the production buildings have no roads that go north, and the action buildings have no roads that go south, and the features have a four way crossroads. So your roads should always link up Indicate if you put, where you're supposed to if you put your cards in the right place. That's yeah. neat. Interesting. All right, Nikki's up. Ah, okay, I'm gonna do my ruins. For free. And, and gain a worker. a worker as a building bonus. And I am done. Yep. I'm going to spend the two wood to build a lumberjack's root, which is a production building. Nice. Goes on this side, though. Goes on this side. <laughs> and that will give me uh, two wood. Because I get one for the production and I get one for the building bonus. Right. And I think I need to spend two wood, so I better put those back. I will spend two guys for wood. End of turn. I'm gonna spend two guys for a card draw. Draw Ooh. a common card. Ooh. Dun dun dun. <laughs> dun All right, dun. I'm gonna do a big ol' action. Do two it. Two guys for a wood and an additional two guys for a stone. All right. Done. I will. Mm, I didn't say it this time. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> spend two guys to draw a card. And I'll draw a common card. I will spin that wood for this village, which is likely one of the few faction that I have that does not require a location. And that produces immediately, correct? It does. Two guys, done. I'm going to spend a raise token and raise this brewer out of my hand, which gives me a wood and a food. Done. Hmm. That's what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to do the coal mine right now, because it was a good one. So, that is going to cost me a wood and a stone for the coal mine, but I don't get anything immediately. Right. Right, because I have to spend in order to do that. I guess I will build... The pig farmer. Another common building, and it costs two wood. But it will allow me to spend a worker and a food to gain victory points, but that is mm -hmm. not going to happen anytime soon. All right, I'm going to spend four guys for two wood. I'm going to spend the food to make a deal. Let's make a deal. Deals produce immediately when you make them, so I will take a gold. Nice. Hmm. I'm going to do a card I'm not so sure is such a good idea at the beginning <laughs> hey, of the game. It is a free. Sure. It's desert. Put it on your left side because it's a faction Sorry. card. Sorry. Oh, nice. What does it do? That is discard one card from your hand, choose an enemy who must discard Ooh. one card from his hand, additionally gain one victory point. My build bonus is two cards. Nice. Yeah. So, um, what so would you like? <clears throat> yeah. Do you want two, two blue, two Egyptian, or one? <laughs> the game of each? got ugly right away. I, I'm kind of. It's don't, a free card. I would build it. I can't. Two free. As well, yeah. It's, it's two good. points as well. Here's. Yeah. I'll explain. Here's my problem. I don't have two workers. Right. So I can't do this action, which I would much rather do. You have to, um, uh, it's a great no, card. No, I'm just it's a explaining. Card. I'd rather wait until so, I yeah. felt like, oh, I gotta attack. Oh, I see what you're saying. That makes sense. You know, Dave or Aaron or Lincoln, but um, not in that order. Though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I did that. I'm going to um, building bonus. So I'm going to take one generic and one from my hand. Faction. Faction. You get two cards. Yeah, it's nice. a building bonus of two cards. That's awesome. Uh, I also gain one. No, that's no, that's, that's if you trigger the action. Oh, okay. You you haven't triggered cool. the action. You just built it. Cool. Well, maybe I'll never trigger it. Mm -hmm. So I'm done. I will raise uh, this castle yep. to gain two cards. Sweet. I'll do one of these. 
and one of these. And that cost you a sword. Yes. A sword. All right, two wood and a location. Yep. Goodbye, ruins. Gets me this production building. Which is? A sword and a guy. What is the building? Oh, I'm sorry. It is the sentry tower. Okay. I will make another deal. I'll use gold in place of the food. And it's a deal for stone, so I will take a stone. Done. Okay. Oh, and I guess no one's done this yet, but I, since Dave has two swords, I'll put my defense token on my armor, uh. just in case he wants to raise it to the ground. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a deal. And make get, a deal. And get a worker guy. Nice, can you get it right away? Did you spend a food to do that? Uh, I have to spend my gold. Okay. I'll do the same. I'll block the wood in case he needs it. Your turn. No, you, that's not an action. Oh, that's not that an is action. not an action. And I will pass. Okay. You, you are allowed to do that, actually. You are allowed to place your token and pass at the same time. Just. That makes sense. You're still taking a turn. I will spend this sword to raise the gallows. And that gets me a wood and a victory point. And a goodbye, Gallows. Done. End of turn. I raise this card. It gives me a stone and a worker. I throw away my sword. Done. All right. And I am going to raise this guy for two food. What card is that? It is a grain field. Okay. Okay. I will pay a wood. Right? You passed, so you're out for the whole yep. round, correct? Okay, I will pay a wood to build this production house, and I get two guys' bonus for that. It produces one, and a building bonus of one. It's a village. It is indeed a village. And I am done. I pass. I'm done. Okay. Okay. So you're going to lose all those goods? Yep. Eef. Uh, well, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not swords. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, I'm going to build a pharaoh's guard here. All right. So I have to raise that. You just turn it into a location. You don't actually. It's raise not it. technically raising. Okay. It. You just discard it. But okay. And I'm and two spending food. my two food. Sweet. And, and what does it produce? Production. It's going to gain one sword or two victory points. And so which of those would you, like, would you right like immediately? I am going to take the. No. I'm going to take the two victory points. Okay. She's I'm going to spend game. two guys for a <clears throat> common card. End of turn. I'm done. And I'm now passing. I'm going to raise the card I just drew, which is the watchtower, which gets me two cards. And I will take one of each. I will spend two guys for a wood. Is that what I want to do? Yes, I'll spend two guys for a wood, and then I'll spend the wood to build this new forest. It's an action, and it allows me to spend a guy to gain a wood, and I can do it up to two times. And then I am done. Keep I get to worker. save that guy to the next round. Okay, so the rest of us discard anything that we're not allowed to keep. Okay. Dave's the only one who keeps something this turn, the worker. And even your defense token, you can just take, well, I'm the only one who, you take it off yeah. the assigned thing. Okay. Um, that's the end of round one. Okay. We go to round two. We start by drawing a faction card. Just pass, one. Pass the first player token to Dave. I didn't say that, but it does move clockwise around the table. Just one faction card. And then Dave gets the first choice of these five cards. All right. Watchtower produces a card every turn with a card bonus for building it. Nice. Sawmill, spend a wood to gain victory points. Hunter Joe, Hunter spend, Joe. spend a worker to gain two food. Ooh, Hunter Quarry Joe. produces stone. And the acting troop is Ooh. an action space where you spend one worker to choose one of your other action spaces. And then you would take off the goods that you'd already spent and you could activate that location again. So it spends a worker to double up one of your action spaces. So if I used this spot, then, then the I could use troop, this one. Then you would wipe that clear and you could use the new forest twice in a turn, or huh. any other action card. 
Mm. All right, I'll just stop thinking about it. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a good choice, actually. Uh, I'm either going to take the Watchtower for cards or Hunter, Hunter Joe Hunter for shoes. I'm going to take the Watchtower. Hunter Joe. Hunter Joe ain't bad if you're going to you make some Hunter deals. Joe? No. I took a Watchtower. I got to watch you guys. Spend one dude for two food. Produce a stone. Uh, spend a wood to gain a point. Eef. Can I not choose any of these? No, they're always good. They're, you know. I will take, take Hunter Joe. Hunter Joe. Hunter Joe. <clears throat> Sorry. I'll take the quarry. And you will take first choice of these next five. Armor, production of one sword, carpenter's workshop. Every time you build a brown building, gain one gold and one victory point. Lord's fields, uh, one food for each red in your empire, maximum three in production. Canteen is a feature. Uh, each time you build pink, you gain one victory point. Oh, one gold. too late. <laughs> um, and settlers. Action. Spend one wood to gain, to immediately gain a faction building, ignoring the building and the cost. Oh, sorry, immediately to build a faction, ignoring the cost. So, that's so you don't one. need the location one. Right. If you spend an extra wood, activating that right. card. Got it. I'll take the Lord's Fields, I think. There you go, Dave. No, I'm not next. Nikki's next. Yep, it's oh, back around last. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. Here we go. I think we're going to take this one because of what it gives me if I raise it. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. The uh, carpenter's, carpenter's Workshop. Okay. I was thinking of that exact same thing. Yeah. I mean, that's like another auction if you don't like settlers. what it does. Yeah, exactly. What, what will it gain you if you raise, raise it? it? And do I want a victory point of stone? No, I want the tomato. 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 Okay, now we take our production. Ah. Don't forget to take production from your deals if you made any last turn and your production cards in the top row. So. Okay. All right. You gain your base production and then whatever else you have. Three. One sword and the shield. Two swords. Plus a sword and a gun. Plus two guns. Plus a guy. Plus the guy I had left over. Okay, you already make sure you got everything you're entitled to. Then Dave will start. I'm activating the new forest. I can spend a guy to gain a wood. I can do it twice. I will do it twice right now. And I will gain two wood. Done. End of turn. I need the two wood, so I'm going to raise Dave's huh? new forest. Okay. So I'm spending two raise tokens. So these guys go away. They would anyway. Yeah. This flips over. I get two wood, and you get one wood as well as yep. the foundation, which you can now build. Yep. So this foundation does it apply to your faction cards as well? Yeah. This is a found. It's this is a foundation it's only now a for faction me to build card a faction. Would ever ask for a location. In fact, that's why it's got the little oh. house symbol on it. So is that it? That was oh, it. That's it. Oh, that's right. That's Aaron's turn. That yes. was Aaron's turn. Oh, and I'll place my defense token just for fun. No, like, no I won't. I'll, I've got a better card. I'll pr protect later. Sorry. <laughs> so now it is my turn. Yes. Now, Nikki, it okay. is your turn. I'm going to raise my Carpenter's Workshop and gain a gold and a wood. And then this gets... You need to dump one of your swords. Yes, if you're raising, oh. you're spending a sword. Okay. I'm gonna build my ruins. My ruins. Yep. Those are good cards. I like those they cards. They are. They're very good, actually. And, and you get uh, get a you get a guy, or, and, and you get a landscape for later when you need to do that. That's right. I will. Um, all right. I will now build my acting troop <laughs> for two wood, which allows me to spend one of these guys to use one of my other action cards. Oh wait, I don't have any other action cards. Thanks to Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Well, before you use it, maybe you'll get one. But I will protect that, just in case. I will build my settlers for one wood. Done. All right. I'm going to spend, uh, I'm going to activate my coal mine. I'm going to spend a worker and gain two stone. Where did the worker go? In here. Put him on the card You're so we right. know that you've used that once. Okay, and that's sorry. No problem. Just, I'm gonna, it actually helps the flow of the game. Right. I'm going to build the farm. And buy the farm. 
Nice. It costs one wood, and it lets me get a tomato and a worker. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he's got some good productions. I see him. Okay, fine. I'm not sneaking out over there. Stuff. I am going to use one of these swords to raise this. Or not to raise, yes, to raise this. It gets me a guy and a food. Guy food. Food guy. Food guy. Hey, food guy. Over here. Over here. Hey, food guy. <laughs> I'm going to build mama's baths. <laughs> it costs two wood and a stone, and it produces two workers because I have two pink cards in my empire. Nice. Is that every time? It's when it produces, yes. Every time it produces, it produces... Up to three max, for every one for every pink card. Nice. Yeah. I am going to build <clears throat> Gold Creek. Howdy, folks. We're right up here. Gold Creek. <laughs> Gold Creek. Creek. What does this action mean? And that is a production card. So, done. It means... You, unlike anybody right else, now. can raise something that's actually been built already on your tableau. And, oh, and get the benefit of it? Get the benefit of it, yes. Oh, sorry. I don't get that right now, nice. correct? What'd you do? Right. You do get that. It's a production. Yes. If yes. it's a production it building, you get it right yep. away. Yep. So I get a gold right now. Yep. Okay. Uh, nice. Spend two dudes to get a stone. Two workers to get a stone. Trade, action. Your turn. Oh, sure. Yeah. I will spend food to build this deal. Let's, Let's make a deal. It's me. A sword. I will spend two. I'll spend four guys to buy two wood. Done. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to spend two guys and get a wood. I will build the quarry, which okay. takes a wood and a stone. And produces, and produces uh, two stone. Nice. Thank you. Um, I am going to spend two swords to raise that for you, sir. You may take a wood. And I will take a stone and a victory point. I will use that foundation. Mm, you're welcome. As well as a stone, a gold, and a wood, substituting for the second stone to build my trade colony. Nice. Gives me a gold and a worker immediately. That's not too bad. All right. There you go, look at me helping you out. So I'm gonna dump this, raise it. No, you don't raise it, you just, just throw, throw it, you just throw, throw it, away. it away. Yeah, it just goes away. And okay. whatever else the card costs. And then, so that's one of those and a stone. Except it gets built on the other side. Goes on the, goes on the left side, because it's an Egyptian building. And what does it do? And this is um, slaves, and it's classy, Nikki. See, I know. <laughs> I, I spend one worker, Very and I and I gain two stone and a victory point. So that is definitely an upgrade from the one. Yeah. I wow, had. yeah, that's pretty huge. Great. Yeah, that's nice. So done. That's nice. I will spend two workers for a wood. Your turn, Dave. I will do the exact same thing. Spend two workers for a wood. I will spend three wood, one of which is gold color, <laughs> to build farmers at work. It's a production building, and it lets me choose one of my other production buildings and gain the oh, goods that's it provides. horrible. So I'm going to have Mama's Baths produce <sighs> three workers. Ugh. And it also has a building bonus of one card, so I'm going to draw a card. Nice. Go ahead. I'll decide what kind of card to draw. It's your Okay. Turn. Hmm. You're right, this game ramps up. Right? It, it definitely does. I drew a uh, common card. Oh, I can't build that. I oh, spent well. it already. Did you mean to get something else? I meant to, no, I just meant to spend them both. It doesn't matter. Because oh. I'll just do it again this yep. turn. Timing-wise, it won't make any difference. Oh, well, I'll just use this one right now. So I'm doing a worker. I'm gaining two. Sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> okay. I'm using She's, a, a Actually, it's worse. She's doing slaves. Uh, I'm horrible. <laughs> and you get two I stone. And I get one. two stone and a no victory. Point. No, a victory. She wins. <laughs> point. Yep. Week three point. Okay, I will spend 
Two more workers for wood. Two wood and a stone. I am going to build the meeting place. That gives me a victory point for every pink building in my empire. One, two, three, four, five points. But that building is now finished. Right? I never score it again. It's right, just it does build nothing it. else. It's just a building bonus. But I draw a card, and I will draw a card from here. Ugh. I will exchange four workers for two wood. Done. Can I, can you, sp this is wild, so I could spend this for anything? Not workers, just wood, stone, and food. And okay. Not sword. And, and you not should spend it. You, you no, are, she can hold it. I can hold gold. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. I I'm going to also gold. put my shield on Mama's bath just mm -hmm. while it's there. <laughs> just in case. Yeah, nobody come near my bathhouse. Well, All right. Does anybody have, I think he has one, I have one. Right? Yeah. I am gonna what? build then. Sword. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but you could build a building next turn that gets you one. But then I still have a turn after that. Right. This is true. Building a mason. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm Four. A wood and a stone. <laughs> hey. And that is if I spend a worker and a stone, I gain two victory points. Okay. All right. What? Nothing. Nothing. You are daisy chaining those nicely. Yeah, she's got a lot of victory point makers. <laughs> so I'm spending uh, two wood and a stone to build uh, the Lord's Prayer. Yeah, I think it's another side belt. Yeah, it's the Lord's Lord. Field. So that produces one uh, food for each red building, and I have two. Nice. You have three. Three. Oh, I have three. Yeah. Gosh, I got a lot of food. But it does. It maxes at three, right? Yeah, I think still. everything maxes at three. That's like that's a production. Do thing. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Still, it's a lot of food. I will spend two workers for a wood, Dan. I will build a watchtower for my two wood. It produces... Ooh, he's actually building one. ...a card. Oh, yeah. Not just getting two cards. Okay. <laughs> and it also... I know, right? Watch you can that. raise that for two cards. Now yeah. you can raise that for two cards. Oh. Maybe I'll put a shield on it. If he had the sword. I'm going to take... You can't move your shield, can you? No. But but you next turn I can put I it on understand. I'm just curious. I was asking about the rules. I will take a faction... I'll take two faction cards. Done. I am passing. I will raise the ruins. Woo, not raise, woo. but take it. Yes, use it to, to yep. fulfill the location requirement. And then I will build the katana maker. Uh -huh. Ooh. Is that the one I wanted to build? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, because I have stone. Katana maker, and he. Uh, I would spend you, stone to get uh, that, that sword. By the virtue of that road going north into oh, nowhere, not you're not putting it in the right road. <laughs> by the virtue of that road. So, that what does he do? When I do that, I need to spend a stone for that. But what he does is I spend a stone to gain a, a sword and a... Uh, victory point? And a victory point. Nice. Yeah. nice. I will spend this wood to build rabble. Rabble, rabble. And it's an action, and it allows me to spend two guys to raise one of my own buildings on this side. Interesting. I pass. I am done. Your turn, Lincoln. I'm going to make a deal. Let's make a deal. It's, it will give me... It's the one thing that's weird about this game. I don't know why this is called a deal. It should be called, like, alliance or minor tribe or trade route. It, Lincoln has cards <coughs> called trade route. Otherwise, that'd be the perfect <coughs> name for it. Yeah. yeah. Make a deal is funny. And what did the deal gain you? Gold. And did you take it? Yes, you did. Okay, sweet. I will use this exciting new action of mine to spend two, what and I do? will raise this. I've been past the last okay. two turns. Which gets me a guy and a card, and I will take uh, um, uh, the, this. <gasps> Your turn, Lincoln. Me and Mickey yep. are out. I'm going to spend the gold, which just kind of sucks to build the monument, which gives me a victory point. Hmm. I'm gonna spend two guys for food. Okay. So they pass, they pass, it's in you. Uh, I don't wanna gain anything. I guess I'm just gonna lose the sword. Okay, I pass. Aaron, uh, it just occurred to me, when I used rabble to raise this, Yes and got these two things, do I get the wood as well from raising it? As if I had like, raised it in someone else's thing? Uh, let me pretend that I didn't check that, the rule book for that and that I just know, yes, you absolutely <laughs> do. It is rabble. Uh, so I get this wood? There are, there, are, there are FAQs in the rule book for the 
cards in each civilization that work, you know, funny, oh. and then have questions about them. But yes, you do get the wood for raising your own people's building to the ground. I believe I'll be throwing that wood away, unfortunately. <laughs> Good. <laughs> take a wood and choke on it. <laughs> <laughs> I will take two wood and choke on it. Look, I'm going to do this and make this deal for wood. And that gets me a wood. <clears throat> and you can't use it? No. <laughs> it's so sad. There's so many cards that need two wood. I know. Oh, wait. I'm going to spend these for a card. Oh, good idea. Come on, lucky card. <laughs> oh, goodbye, wood. That's it? <laughs> yes. You pass. Everybody I else pass. clear. Don't forget to inf include Please and clear the away. things on your cards. Oh, we're clearing? We're, oh, I'm passed. sorry. I, I, oh, all right, go ahead. I, when I built this rabble, I'm building it over this. This needs to go away. Okay. Thank you for catching that. Away, away. Throw get to save my pieces. yummy gold. You get to save your gold. Lincoln <laughs> saves food. <clears throat> Me and Dave. I save nothing. I save nothing. And it's round three. Draw a mm. faction card. Okay. Ooh. No. Ah. Not really. Maybe. Oh, there's the wood. Right. A little late. Well, here you go, sir. And I will take first choice of these common cards. Pig farmer. Worker in tomatoes for victory points. Village produces people. Lumberjack's route produces wood. Village Gold mine. Sorry. Turn a worker into a gold up to twice. <gasps> and goldsmith's workshop. Spend a worker and a gold to gain two points. I am going to take the gold mine. Boo. Oh, yay. That was never uh, I know, right? Are we going that way? Uh, no, so clockwise Dave, first. So you're next. Okay. I am taking a vi the village. The village. The village. The village. Here you go, Lincoln. Okay. That's the gold <clears throat> I spent. I have to get a stream. I like the village. I have one. And you got this one, too. Yeah. That didn't even need a location. I know. And it's twice as good. <laughs> uh, spend a worker and a... I'm sorry, I took the lumberjacks. Yep, uh, thank you. A game. Worker and a gold to gain two. Interesting. I don't care about I didn't that. Want to, but... Oh no, my card. Spend a worker and to gain one. I don't care about that, so I will take this. And then Dave will get first choice of those five. Mason's Guild. Oh, spend five. a worker and two stone to gain a victory point. Two victory points, isn't it? Not one, I'm sorry. That seems like a lot. It does, actually. <laughs> uh, Hanseatic League. No, it's three victory points. Oh, thank you. That's that makes more sense. That a worker and two stone to get three victory points. Spend a worker and discard one of your deals oh, wow, that is to gain a star. Spend a worker to gain a sword, maybe no, activate it twice. Gain two victory points from oh, God, the I cannot athlete. see these little teeny the numbers. The numbers are a little tough. I apologize. That's right. Do you need a magnifying glass? I'm wearing <laughs> them, it's not helping. Spend <laughs> okay. one worker to gain a shemangani, a sword. Uh, the red bonuses, oh, that's good for you, take it. And I don't <laughs> want it. I got no red. Spend a worker to draw one card, maybe activate it twice. Well, that seems like it's my kind of thing. I know, that's what I'm it does to me. That's yeah. I said, Castle. Like, mm. I had to spend that to get just cards. I didn't have any. But that first question. round, I just do had I nothing. want that or do I want? Mm. I built one thing the first round, and do I want swords? So I got. Well, I had a better two, second. Raise something, right? And that gives I, me no, two I built two now. deals, <laughs> two raises, and one building. You that are, was it. The castle is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah castles are good. totally. Totally. Lincoln is next. This one's pretty great though, the baker. I just, it doesn't, it's a lot of red, but because it gives me a victory point for each red building in my empire and I get to draw. Here's what's good about that card, because I have that same card with the pink, right? What's good about that card is that the minute you play it, it's now done and then you don't care about it anymore. So if you need a location, you just use that one. Does that make right, sense? So if I do right. it now, I would get three victory points. Four, because the card counts for itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's no limit. You get four victory points and, and a card. card. It costs two wooden stone. Yeah. It's not cheap, but and it gives you a location that you can use right away. That said, though, uh, that's not horrible either for you because if you can make a lot of deals with your tomatoes, but you have to draw cards to do that is the problem. Yeah, yeah. tomato it does have a lot deals. of a lot of tomatoes though. Well, or you, or you could just look up here and see what the raise yeah, value yeah, no is. Kidding. <laughs> I took my card based, I think, more on raise value than anything else. Mm. I will take the baker. Are you going to pee? The baker, the baker, the baker. 
Oh, okay. choose one maker. Fantastic. Spend one, gain two. Spend one. I don't want to do that. It's one. crazy. It's terrible. It, it would almost be more interesting if this went the other way. If the last place player drew first, and then it went in reverse order from the start player. Because by the time we're picking our cards, you could have your turn planned out. As the start player, you could have... Yeah, you're right. You still yeah. get a first pick. Does that make sense? Right. right, but once I take that second pick, I'm ready to go. Right, I would yeah. almost make that a house yeah. rule in a way. I like because that. then the then Because right now, you don't know what you're getting. It might change what you do on your turn. Yeah, that's true. Unless... Like, you're right, but it, uh, seeing what you take could change the direction of my turn. But That's it's fine. Much less That's fine. That gives you the first player advantage, right? I mean, that should be what it no, does. No, but I'm saying I might wait for the process to go all the way back to see what you and It doesn't matter. You can't up. play your turn until then anyway. But you, okay. it's very easy to parse what's going on yeah. there as you see them go. I mean, unless they did it that way specifically to give the last player two picks in a row. Because there sometimes is an advantage to that. However, however, my second pick is not an, since I'm not basing my first pick on my second pick, it's not like it's that much of an advantage. But you could. You could is the point. I couldn't if I didn't know what the cards oh, were. Oh, you're right. No, then now I've gotten this and now I now I know. All right, what's Nikki I'm taking? I'm taking the Mason Guild. That's a source of points. Yep. It's a source of points. I'll take point the, the barracks. Oh. I'll take the Don't. barracks. Oh, look what you started. I know, ah. right? Look, it's just started. <laughs> All right. All right, I start. Um, oh, no, look at started in production. Oh, production. I, I want more cards, though. Right. What, what does he say? He says, developers, developers, developers. I don't know what that is. That's Me either. Uh, it's Balmer, Steve Balmer. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He runs yeah. around the stage yelling, sweating. <laughs> developers, developers, developers. Production. Ooh, another one. Guy plus two guys plus a guy. Well, both of these. Oh. I, I ch the farmers at work can clone yeah. something. Each of these is three workers. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I need to figure out which kind of card I'm going to draw for my watchtower. Well. I'm going to draw a common card. Oh. Wow. Oops. Um, I'm first. Oops. Oops. Everyone, make, double check. Make sure you got all your deals and all your production I things. I believe so. Oh, I forgot my top dude. Here, Thank so you for yeah. saying there that. There you go. Top dude. Top my, dude. My deal dude. Rated R. And what did you choose? A, a sword oh, or a gold? I chose a sword. <laughs> that's two victory <laughs> points. <laughs> but I chose that. a sword. The deal, the, yeah, the that's, deal yeah, they are easy. Sword. All right. I am going to protect my watchtower that you guys all want to raise for two cards. Sweet! This is gone! Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh. It gets him six dudes every turn. It does? Yeah. Because it's three for the three pink cards, and then this one duplicates a card. Go ahead, uh. Dave. If you think if you think I'm the threat with zero points, <laughs> oh, I love that. And and one faction building built, the least of all players, then go ahead and finally okay. Okay. finally cripple my engine that's maybe <clears throat> about to take off. Uh, it depends on whether I need That'd the tomato. Great. Mostly it depends on whether I need the tomato. All right. I'm sure there's no other way you could get tomato. That. Tomato. <clears throat> I will. Let's see. I will build a gold mine for <laughs> All right. a stone and a wood. I'm going to build a village, but I'm going to use a gold instead of the wood sure. for that. And that is going up here for production. And immediately produces one more worker. And, and a building bonus of one worker. Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. Dinner. I will build the baker, the baker, which is a middle road one. Nice. And that gives me four. It costs two wood and a stone. And that builds, uh, gives me one victory point for each red building, so it's four. And that's that's key. Yeah, I'm looking at the numbers and stuff. Gotcha. All right. I need two stone. I will raise that building, sir. The one with two stone on it. Oh, flip it over. No, flip it over. You can keep taking one wood. Get stone, and that's the only stone I have. And take a wood. wood. I will spend two workers on my gold mine and take two gold. Done. Okay. I will spend one worker 
Gain two stone and one victory point. Four. Uh, the slaves card. That is me. So I'm at four now. I'm going to get out of zero at some point. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> two workers for wood. And we'll spend a wood and a stone to build this castle. Mm -hmm. I can spend a worker to draw a card. I can use it twice, and I'll put my shield on it. I will mm. spend one stone on an above ground mine, which lets me spend workers to gain stone. Done. Okay. You can do it twice. I'm going to build Sanctuary. Uh -huh. This is part of the cost of it. It's tricky, tricky. It is um, tricky. It's a good one. Huh? Yeah. Action. Spend one worker, choose a card from my hand to play to play as a foundation. Gain one stone instead of a wood and gain one victory point. Wow. Yeah. So she can build her own foundations essentially and just ignore whatever the card was. So that's really good. All right. good. So, so I get rid of this. Uh-huh. Okay. This is going here, and I also have to spend my two wood. Gray stone. Gray stone. <laughs> Very oh, hard gray, gray wood. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's petrified. And right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I will build the porters for two wood. And what does that do? That is a uh, an action. I spend one food to choose any of my production abilities to gain the, uh, the goods it provides. Okay. I will raise this to get a gold and a stone. Spend your sword. Yep. Done. I will build a legion for a food and a location, and it produces a common card and has a building bonus of a common card. Oof. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to use this new special thing. So I use a worker, choose a card from my hand to use... Place it in your empire as a foundation, so I just put it wherever. Well, sure, yeah. I mean, put or it on do the I follow side. by what, no, whatever it, it is? Matter. Okay, I'll just put it there. Okay. Um, and, you gain... and then I gain a stone mm -hmm. instead of a wood, mm -hmm. and I gain one victory point. Dink. And Five. I don't do that yet. Right. That's You'll another use it later. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking over here for? I can't see. The problem is my reading glasses, I can't see any of her cards. Oh, that is a problem. You should sit closer to her next time. Yeah. I will spend uh, one food to gain. Just do that. Do a point. So what'd you do? I spent one to get uh, one food to get with the porters to get one victory point. All right, three stone. Builds the temple. And it just gets me four victory points. And the you're throwing away your foundation for the location cost? Right here. One, two, three, four. Done. I'll build another gold mine for wow. a stone and a wood, which are actually both gold. Done. <clears throat> what is it doing other actions? Yeah, it's workers turn mine gold, essentially. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Sphinx Alley. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. That's one that's your, of that's these. That's that part. Mm -hmm. And then one stone, and then I'm going to spend a gold mm -hmm. for the second stone. And what does and it do? Put it on the left side of your empire? Yeah, it's dirt, dust, whatever, sand. Uh, I spend two gold, gain two victory points. It may be activated twice. Mm -hmm. So I will build, since this is a foundation, correct? This, no. is, this is a foundation. That's a foundation, yeah. Any this card is a foundation. You could also just throw that away, correct? this is the one that you told me before that when I dump it, it... Correct. You've already used it. It does you no... Know, it only does you good if you have something else that gives you something for red buildings. But other than that, it does you no good. So I will use that as the foundation. That one. And I will spend one gold, which will be the wood. Uh-huh. And what does it produce? Produces one... Dude, for each pink building, I have two. Nice. 
I am going to spend a dude to draw a card, and I will draw from here. Done. I will spend two dudes to mine gold, and gain two gold. Done. All right. Uh, spending two gold to gain two victory points. Put them on the card. Two. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. Same place. Yeah. Put the gold on the card though, so you know you've used it. Maybe used up to twice. Yes. I will spend two guys to get a card. I will spend two guys to get a food. I'll spend. No, I gotta do that. I'll spend all my gold to build a barracks. I can spend workers to gain a sword up to twice. Done. Dave. I have a you need to be a, hit. wooden a person and a wooden a person. Which one do you want? This one allows me. This, by the way, is how the guy probably gets all the cards. Yeah, how? I can draw two cards here. And then clear then it. Then I can clear it, more. and then I can draw two more. It's not bad. This gets me a guy every turn. This gets me the ability to clear a card I've already used and then use it again. Oh, really? Yeah. Do, do that you, one. You okay. can't. No, this one. No, oh, one. no the one right, in the wing. Okay. She wants the Do you need a wood in a stone, though? I, don't I do. Nah, you don't have I it. don't. Nope. Nope, you don't have it. All right, All right this one. so that one. So that's two swords? Yep. Boom. Yep, you get a guy and a wood. You Thank you very much, wood. Dave. Wood. You are welcome. And that's your turn. Dude and a food to gain two victory points. Dude and a food to gain two victory points. A dude and a food. Does I'm sorry, that is the uh, pig farmer. Thank you. I should actually probably show that on... Yes, right. yes. I will spend a food to make this deal and take a gold. End of turn. I will spend two workers to gain two swords from the barracks. End of turn. I'm spending, I'm just doing a plain old action. Yes. So two workers and I'm going to gain a stone off of that. Done. Two workers for a stone. I will spend another guy, because I can do this twice to draw a card, and I will draw from here. It's hard to see things way across the table. Yeah, it really I is. I don't like that part. I'll raise this, my own card, for two wood. Done. Okay, I'm going to build the Mason's Guild. Two wood and a stone. Mm-hmm. It's gonna make you some points in the big rounds. Maybe. If I can get this rolling. It's not really rolling. So, stone to gain a victory point and a sword. That was with the katana maker. Mm -hmm. I didn't put the stone on the katana. Oh, yeah. I will spend a wood and a stone since I'm gonna lose these anyway, right? Yep. And it's an action that lets me spend a dude and a gold to get two points. Turn in two workers for a stone. Done. Two workers. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, two workers for a stone. Can I, are you going to use that this turn, right? For this, yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Because I can't do it on that one. Yeah. Let's. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't want to throw them away. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You should totally hit somebody. If it, it at the very least, you get a point out of it. Even if you throw those away, you've hurt. Well, he doesn't have to throw them. a tomato away. He doesn't have to throw a point away. Well, I'm just saying, even if he does it to hurt. You and you can't use gold. those things. No, I get a wood. He's still taking a building away from you. Right. Um, point. Yep. All right. For that newly acquired wood, I will build this second rabble. Rabble. I will remove the one just raised. And that does what again? It allows me to spend two guys to raise, to raise one of your my... own thing. Right? Mostly it just gets a card out of my hand for two points, right? I'll build a I was going to lose the wood anyway, so. For two wood and a stone. 
That produces a gold for each golden building in my uh, empire, so I'll take three gold. Uh, yeah. But look, I have all common buildings. Uh, trust me, I'm losing. What? <laughs> what he doesn't about? have... I got, no, I got like two points over here. You're building to something exciting. Go. No, I uh, wish I was. All yeah. right, Ooh, I'm locking enough. up this one. Yep. And I'm um, uh, activating the mansion. So it's one worker, one stone to gain two activity. victory points. One, two. So that one's going. <clears throat> okay. To do this plus the wood, which is the gold. Nice. And, and what does it do? It's a, I'm sorry, it's a negotiator, and it lets me spend one worker to build one of my deals, but I've only got one deal. Right. But it, it also lets you bypass the location part and build the deal. Right. And build the building for less, essentially. So, yeah, I could dump buildings that I want to build later, but I've only got two more rounds, so. I'm going to pass and keep all these guys. Woo. I'm done. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, there's no reason to spend them. I'll spend these golds on another trade colony. Uh, I do have to build over a location. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I just, you don't have like a garbage location. No, but I've got two gold mines, so I'll build over one of those. Um, this location provides a worker and a gold. I need to raise something, so let's see, what do I need? <laughs> I know. See, I, I feel like you're setting this up for the long. I yeah. wish. I wish He's I had a plan, be, you guys. I wish. At the end. I. I really. You guys are gonna. You're so scared of me. I could be fourth place by 15 points. Um, let's see. I need. I kind of. Is there anything out there for two workers that I could raise for two workers? I have nothing for two. I have one worker in a wood. I have one, one worker in a gold. One worker in a stone. That's not bad. And that that would take gold away from you. You're kind of scary. I am not scary. You think I'm scary, but I'm not. <laughs> I do just because you have a lot of ways to gain points. Yeah, you really do. I have, basically, I have to have a ton of okay. workers. What else is there for gold? Is there like gold and something else? I don't want no. gold in the worker. What else do you have? Gold on a stone? I'll take that. Oh, and that's three. That's the one thing I can't do. Right. I <laughs> put that on it. I knew. This stupid game. It seemed tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I will raise that thing that gives me two food. Oh no, he's passed. Yes, you can't. I hit can't him. do it. Nope. Have you passed? I have not passed. You can only hit Nikki. We both passed. You've passed. Uh -huh. Well, oh, man. that that fixes Ooh. that problem. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess yes. I'll take a gold and a wood and raise that. Oh, but you get a foundation and a, okay. and a wood that you that you could I'm use in the next turn. I know. Because, are you done? Yep. Oh, well, that's my action. Okay. I am passing. Oh, wait, I have no I cards. A gold, I get a, a I gold. I got no cards. And up until you did that to me, I didn't even have any resources to lose. And, and now <laughs> I, gave, I gave you one. Now you gave me a resource to lose. Right. Thank you I'm so much. I'm going to eat. Do I do that? Wow, she's got no cards. That's crazy. I'm going to... I'm going to use settlers, so I spend a wood to build a faction card ignoring the location. Okay. So that's the wood to ignore the location. That's the stone and I will build a young sculptor. And... What does that do, young sculptor? Um, one stone for one point up to twice. Okay. It's just a simple point generator. And I will draw a card with my last two workers and then I'll lose one worker. Okay. Done. Let's clear your cards and Discard goods that you may not have spent. And we're on turn four. We're on turn four. Draw a faction card. Nikki will be the first player. All right, you can have a village that produces people, a wood supplier that gives you wood for each brown card you have. That would be one wood for you. Some ruins, a sawmill to turn wood into victory points, and a confectioner to turn one guy and two food into three victory points. That's good for somebody that you know. It is. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm not worrying about that, though. All right. I'm worrying about me. Yeah, you you do you. I like you it. You do you. Uh, I think I got to do the village. Wow. If that's I what need you need, people. do it. Yeah. This would have been such people. a good card at the beginning of the game. It's well, that's part of the issue, right? Yeah. yeah. No, that's what's cool about stuff like this, right? Ugh. What'd you take? I took the... One that was a confectioner. Ah, that yeah, that was, that was the obvious one. All right, what I got? Spend yeah. a wood to gain a point. Yeah. Can be activated twice. You got so much food, though. 
it's one gonna be points for wood for each brown. <clears throat> hey, I don't have any of those. Yeah. And Actually, none of us do. Hey, ruins. I might just take the ruins to get me to where I need to go. In fact, let me just stop thinking about it. All right, I'll just take the sawmill because it's cheap to build. <laughs> and <laughs> The ruins is even cheaper. I know. <laughs> and the next five are wood storage. It does nothing, but it's a building bonus of one point per brown. So that would be a maximum of two points for Lincoln and one for the rest of us. The joiner is spend a guy in a wood to gain two points. Another watchtower. Tavern is kind of cool. Discard a card from hand to gain two points. But it also has a building bonus of a card and a raise of two cards. And the quarry, which is a stone producer. I will take one of these card builders. And I produce more stone. I'll take the watchtower. I will take the tavern, the one that you discard a card to gain two points. Oh, uh, now I wish I had this back. Good. <laughs> They're all good, right? I know. Yeah, they are all pretty good. But the one that allows you to use a card take again. The Nikki. Okay. Is is pretty great. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think that is central to a lot of high scoring games. Well, especially if you have a good card, you can get to it, right? Interesting. Monsters are such hmm. interesting people. That's horrible. <laughs> think about this. It's an action card. My roads were not aligned properly. What do you got over there? Two cards. Stone no, one gold. card. One card. No, I'm looking at the oh, raise. What? Because I got to go before you. Oh no! <laughs> what do you have down there? Person in a thing. Person in a wood. Person in a person in a point. Gold in a point. Person in a wood. Ow. Ooh, gold in a point. What'd you take? Oh, sorry. Uh, a joiner. Oh, I'm planning my whole turn around that thing. Really? You yeah, it's your your first. But okay. <laughs> oh, production. I always want to skip production. It's all right. Last couple turns, production is pretty big and complicated. Two, I guess. Three, one, two. I will five. take a. Faction card for the Watchtower. Sword. That's produces one common card. My, f I'm gonna use and my Pharaoh's Guard for the go. two points. Got all these guys. Clear enough. Two. I'm gonna take three gold for my farmers at work. Excuse me. Again. Farmers at work. Wow. Ready? Yes. Uh oh, I don't like the way she said that. Oh, come oh. on now. <laughs> I think I've petered out, actually. I didn't, I I needed cards yep. to pull from my, because I only have three. That is, that it's is It's not going to do me then, a lot again. Then raise, do you have two swords? Do <clears throat> you have a way no. to get two swords? I'm working it out. She's getting there. I'm just saying, because that's a way to draw cards. No, I only you, have one. But if you took a sword from this instead of victory points, you could raise that and get two I cards. Ahem, or you could raise or that and get two points. Or perhaps <laughs> pick on the guy with zero points. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake. Can I go back? Of course. You guys? Yeah, sure, absolutely. You're going right. to take instead a of sword my pharaoh, instead of that. I'm going to take the two back. Right. And I'm going to take another take sword. Sure. Raise token. Yeah, makes yeah, total I agree sense. With that. Sorry. Thank you. Now, <laughs> good preference. Yeah, and I'm gonna raise this card, gain a point and a wood. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it is Lincoln's turn. That's it for now. Okay, and this goes away. I will build the confectioner. The confectioner. It costs two wood and a. Stone in quotation marks. Wow. Yeah. It's like more than half of my deals. Well, right? that makes sense. Half of mine are probably that, right? And what is it? Is it does it produce or is it an I spend one and two to make three uh, points. Yeah, three that's points. one dude and two one tomato. Dude made two tomato. Yeah. Can it, and just use once, correct? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's why he needs your acting troop to clear it off. My acting troop has been. Like, I know. Sir, I'm just saying. I will spend there two might be of these guys to draw a card each, and I'll draw both faction cards down. Sweet. Yes. End of turn. Come on, something exciting. Oof. I will spend a wood and a stone. No. I'm sorry. And a thing. gold for the settlers to ignore the location part and build a stone cutter. That gives me two stone. Done. Okay. I'm going to use my slaves. Spend a 
worker. Uh, and I will protect my watchtower. Because everyone wants to raise it. <laughs> Sorry. No, okay. I'm sure mine will get hurt first. So I'm going to use my slaves. Yep. I'm going to uh-huh. put a dude there. Yep. And gain two stone and one victory point. Yep. Done. So I will spend a guy and two food and gain three victory points. I am purple. Nice. Dude. Your turn, Dave. Well, let's put the ruins down and get a guy. Ruins. End of turn. Uh, let's use the barracks and gain two raised tokens. Oh. oh. <laughs> I am going to use this uh, chariot builder. That oh, is. I Should I back up? I just let me just announce my my cheat, and it's easy to fix. Um, I took three gold for this merchant guild because when I built it, I had three gold yep. locations. Right. But I forgot, and I just took three out of habit during the income phase. During this round? Yes. Got it. So I should throw away a gold for this, as well as a gold for the farmers at work that cloned it. Okay. So it was two gold per card instead of three. I just took the wrong income. Okay. Done. Sorry. All right. So I'm doing the chariot builder. Oh, yeah. So that is a wood, stone, and my house foundation Mm -hmm. thing. That goes away. And what this guy does for his action is, I spend one uh, sword to raise one enemy's building. Which is um, cheaper than two. Right. You still, you can't raise uh, things that don't have a raised location. You still have to raise a targetable building. Okay. But yes, it is much easier than- everything I have. Yes. I will. Spend two workers to gain a stone. Your turn, Dave. I'm gonna raise this card. I'm gonna raise this card with an actual thing of steel, of sword, of stuff, and that's gonna get me a gold and a victory point. So I will take my first victory point in a long time. I will also raise, I'll raise this watchtower out of my hand. And I will draw one common and one faction card. Done. I am going to Mason's Guild. So that's one worker, two gold, I mean two stones. So I'm going to use a stone and a gold for that to gain three victory points. Do it. One, two, three. I'm gonna do get a victory point, the uh, katana maker, and a sword, Nick Swordson. Okay. Place the thing on the katana maker. Oh yeah. So as to indicate, it is done. Did you give yourself your point? Yeah. Okay, then a wood and two stone, and uh, this little guy right here gets me that aforementioned dark chapel. So basically the way it works is, when I use a raise token to raise something, instead of keeping the goods, I can turn each of them in for two points apiece. So I can keep one and discard the other, or discard them both. Okay. Thank you. End of turn. I'm going to spend one worker on the gold line to take a gold. Done. All right. Uh, Dave, I'm going to raise that building that gives you the cards all the time. The two cards? This one? Go for it. Take it. Lincoln, <laughs> you did not give the chance to do That's it. Funny. Uh, oh. Take I'm two so cards. Would you They're like small. me to hold and off so you wood. can do it? No, no. no. Do it. You need two cards. Take them. I get a wood. I get two? Yep. Two cards. Two cards. I'm going straight for my specials. Straight for the good ones, yeah. yeah. You've got some good faction cards, and a lot of them don't cost too much. There's two cards right here if you want cards. <clears throat> I can't do them now. Oh, because the shield's there. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry. I keep not seeing that shield. It's a defended location. Hey. Take a, two two guys to take a faction card. Okay. 
Gonna be. I will spend two guys for a wood. And end of turn. I would build a sawmill for one gold in place of the wood. Done. Okay, I am gonna do a sanctuary, which is spend one guy, choose a card from my hand, place it as a foundation, and then I also gain a stone oh, instead of a wood, mm -hmm. and one victory point. Mm -hmm. I will spend a tomato at the porters to activate any building, and I will activate the Geisha House to give me two guys. Okay. And I guess I should put, I did do that. I'm gonna just move my whole setup over. I'm about to build even more in that direction. I will fix that in just a mere moment. Uh, for these two wood and this raised new thing, I will build this mission that allows me to spend a guy to draw two cards. I keep one and I discard the other. Hmm. I'll build administration, costing me a sawmill for a foundation and two stone. Now, every time I build a Roman location, meaning my faction cards, I can gain a gold or a point. Mm -hmm. And I will gain my first point of the entire game. Nice. Because that's a Roman location. Done. All right. Okay, uh, I'm digging in the desert, which is I discard a card from my hand. I choose an enemy who must discard one card from his hand, and I gain a... Uh, victory point. So I want you to discard a card. Really? For me? me? Not Dave. <sighs> or me. I know, but I think you're gay you're gaining, although we don't, don't see it. Look at all of this. Okay. No, no, don't talk don't talk her out of it. Let her let her let me do it. Uh all right, I'll discard one of these. And then I gain point. another point. Just watch when I'm in fourth place and right. then apologize I'll to me at the end of the game. I'll give you a big hug and say I'm sorry. No. You know what, Nikki, you don't have to apologize. <laughs> two, two, Aaron's a big boy. For a stone. But I would have hit me or Link. All right, go. Everyone thinks I'm so dangerous. I guess that's something. <laughs> I mean, what has he got hidden? We don't know. It's going to all be when he gains a million points in the last round. It's just not that possible. Yeah, that's probably true. Um... I will. I will do that action. So I will spend a guy to draw two cards, and I'll draw one from each deck. Uh, I will raise a castle out of my hand to draw two cards, and I'll draw I will draw one from each deck. I will keep this one and discard my faction card. Sorry, I forgot you were deciding. It's all right. No worries. I raised a castle and drew two cards. Okay. Nikki. All right, um, spending a worker and a stone to gain two points on my mason. One, two. I guess I, I have to do this to, I have to raise a building, so I guess I'll raise this one, the porters, uh, to build this with the stone. And that's the trade route, which allows me to, I, I don't understand, make a deal with it, so. As far as it's, it's, it's an enemy faction. Like, so you would just like... So you, spend a food, you right. choose an enemy faction. Faction location. And then make a deal with it. Draw a card from yeah, your deck yeah, yeah. and yeah. place it that face would just down this. under the enemy faction. So then you would like immediately gain a sword and you would gain a sword next turn for production just like any other deal. Or whatever uh, else. You want. This becomes one of your deals. Correct. But just the deal part of the location. Yes. Right. Yeah, you can get a so card. So you can get a card this. every turn. Well, there's only well, one more turn to two go. Two cards is not nothing for a food. Right, because right? you get one immediately. Right. That makes sense. And you just draw a faction card to mark that. And it's that done. card goes away. Yes. You, yeah. you built over that. And you didn't raise it, we just locate right. turn it into location. It was upgraded, sort of. Okay. I am going to spend four guys for a wood and a stone. Done. 
I am going to build gardens, building over this settler's location and spending a gold and a stone for the wood and the stone. Gardens is a feature. Every time I build a red building, I gain two victory points. So I gain two right now, plus one here for game, building a Roman no. building. Oh, oh, there's the there's <laughs> there the combo. Is. Everybody, I'm watch you. out. I'm Aaron's you. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just gonna lock my guild Mason's guild. That's in. what I was gonna wipe out. Too. Nice, <laughs> good then, good move. That's not an action, so you still either must but pass I'll, or take an action. I am now passing. Thank you. Stone and gold over there? Yes. That one's gone. Unless Dave's got something. He didn't have it. That's all I have is this. Yeah, I have Every, I've been hit four times, five times. And I'll take a wood for that. And you'll take a stone and a gold. Okay. All right. For a wood and a stone, I will build this tavern and put my guy on it. Not that it matters, but I will just to do it. End of turn. Aaron. I build ruins. I get a free worker off of it. Done. And I am past, so. So I will spend a worker and a food to gain two victory points. Nice. Which off of which one? The I'm sorry, the, uh, the pig farm. Thank you. I will spend a sword. I'm gonna lose that anyway, aren't I? Huh. I think I have done this incorrectly. Damn. Oh. Your house burned down. I know. It's horrible. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> building bonus. <laughs> a building bonus for building this card in the last round was a card. Did you just build it last round? I built it last round and I did not take a card. Right. So I'll take a common card. And now I will. I will place. A sword here to raise this for two stone, which I will take as a stone. No, I'll take it as four victory points. One, two, three, four. Done. I will build over my ruins with a stone. Build this builder. It provides a wood and a stone. It also provides one point from my administration building. Done with Lincoln. I'll spend one to do that, to draw a card. Nice. Yeah. And did you activate your thing, that building? And look, it's nice. It's like he shows the yeah, purple. Yeah, it's, it's real simple. That's a really nice design. And that's design. his turn. He made a deal. That is a nice a design. I need that, and I don't have it. So I will spend this sword to raise a card from my hand. So I will take two victory points and a wood. One, two. I will spend two workers to... Draw a common card. Done. Goodness, this is terrible. Okay, I will do what I have to do with what I got, so I don't waste it. So I'm building a quarry. It's going to be one stone and one gold, and I get two stone. Your turn, Dave. So this is an interesting action because there's no way to check it. So I'm gonna discard the card here. Oh, it actually, no, it says take something out of the supply and just mark that you've used it. Okay, so um. I'm gonna discard a card from my hand. Yep. And I get two points for that. Hmm. End of turn. I'm gonna build a sculptor's workshop. Uh, I have a foundation to throw out and it costs a stone. And it lets me spend a guy and a stone to gain two points. And I gain a point for a Roman building. Done, Lincoln. Mega deal. Uh, let's do the people. So to make a uh, good, to make a deal. And you get a person. I'm gonna spend four guys for two stone. End of turn. You get a person right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for making the deal. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Done. I'm gonna build a marketplace for two wood. It lets me turn in a wood, a stone, and a food to gain three points. Nice. Done. 
I'm going to spend two guys to get another card, so I need to... I'll spend two stone and a wood to build my second dark chapel. Hmm. Boo. <coughs> that, that was, those are very good barbarian buildings. I don't have any more cards. Well, that's why I took one of them oh, out. Oh, I feel so bad for you. You shouldn't. I know, I don't. <laughs> oh, that was sarcasm? Oh, it I was. Didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't know if you ever experienced that before. I will uh, <laughs> spend a worker and a stone to gain two points at the sculptor's workshop. Did your young sculptor b- grow up? No, he now he has a friend next to him. Okay. <laughs> he, he went into business for himself. Get some of these. You really, you gotta, I mean. Get those. <laughs> most those of my foundations were decided for me. Right. That, some will be decided for you, right. some will be ruins, and the rest you just have to decide what yeah. you can give up. You gotta build stuff that I you like don't the need. Ruins, having you know, the, the entire game. A stone. Use that to. Uh, you just get rid of yeah, stone. I know. And we'll build the ninjas. 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 Ooh, ninjas. ninjas will like that one. I, I assume it attacks. Spend one. Uh, uh, it's an action point. building. Sorry, you're oh, putting yeah, it in the yeah, production yeah. plot. It's um. Spend a tomato. A worker. A worker. Um. To choose one enemy to deal. I don't know. Does that mean these or these? These. These. Okay. That's your deal. Right. To immediately gain the goods of that that deal def- uh, provides. Oh. And. Um. Oh, I'll also get to, to to use a samurai. Oh, I like that. Wait, do you didn't to immediately use a samurai? Doesn't the ninja discard the deal? You did. You yes, skip that word. Yes, discard and immediately gain the goods that. Yeah. Provides. So he kills our deal and gains the good from it. Well, I mean, oh. other than it gets him, other than it gets him uh, two victory points, which is good, and it gets goods out of his hand. We're about to produce those deals for and the not, last, and not lose. But he anything. can kill one right now. You're right. It's that would be a much scarier at the beginning of the game if he could kill five deals throughout the game. Right. So you get to put Samurai up right now. Yeah, that's a good deal. That's a good yeah. deal. How are you gonna discern the you Samurai? You put them at the top of the card. Versus, okay. And I usually stand them up. I, I was thinking that. I guess I wanna protect that. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would protect anything on this side, right? That's yeah. the, cause It you, has to be, that's where Samurai go. Oh. They can't go on a common location. Oh, well then even better. Meanwhile, I pass. Uh, I will draw a common card. Well, I guess I'm done. I don't think I can do anything else. Can I activate anything? I don't have any people. Nope. All right. Mm. I have two simple actions. Um, I will build a pig farmer for a stone and a wood. Yep. I get two points when I build a red building. Yep. And this last one will be a stone with the young sculptor to gain one point, and I will save my sword. Final round. Final era of your clear, You're going to be the first. Clear all your stuff. Clear, clear, clear. And then Lincoln will be the first player. I get one Everyone of Everyone gets one of those. And then Lincoln Come on, will card that works for me. To reshuffle. We're gonna be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prepare a new oh, draw pile. So we have the statue, building bonus, one star for each gray building in your empire. That's pretty <laughs> cool for somebody that might have gray. Nikki, yep. she's the one. Yep. Me too. And you get to draw a card. Wow. Uh, oh yeah, it's good for you too. Um, the <laughs> barracks uh, spend a dude to gain a f- sword. May I activate twice? Apartment. Building bonus one star for each golden building in your empire. Wow, that's interesting that these are coming out now. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but you get the candy factory, right? That was the or whatever. That was the red. Yeah, the red I got the pink one earlier. No, I know, but these are. Uh, they these do are have that end game card feel, don't yes. they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mill, each time you build a red building you gain, which is earlier in the game. Yep. And then Carpenter, spend one uh, worker and two wood to gain three star, uh, victory points. What does the mill give you when you build a red? One point? Yeah, I won't be building No, but anymore. each time you build a red... Yeah, and it counts for f- itself. It's after the fact, not when you build it. It counts for itself. So if he had three red cards in his hand, that might be three victory points, or four. You can see, I mean, mine are mostly red, correct? Yeah. I'll do that one. The problem is these three don't help me. So there you go. Right? The star is not considered a good. It is, yes. You, Whenever you raise something with the Dark Chapel, you may turn in a victory point for two victory points. Oh. So yes. Thank you for asking. In that case, I will take the gray building statue. And you can have your golden no, mill. I wanted the statue. I that, did was the, too. that was my first choice. <laughs> Actually, it was good for me and Nikki, yeah. so that was a great one to take. 
That would get me three points. Then I have to spend stuff to get three points. All right, there you go. I'm taking the apartment, which works <clears> off <throat> gold buildings. Okay. <sighs> did you guys? Yeah, you guys all did it. I didn't. Uh, oh, barracks clear. clearly and out of those two. <laughs> and then Nikki. Yes. One card left. Wow. Do you shuffle if you run out of the deck? I've never seen it happen. I've only played a couple times, but yes. Because these right. are all discards and raises. Check and make sure there's no. I will. We, no, that there's no. Oh, no, I, cards. I Okay, so what I've got to choose from is New Forest. I spend one uh, worker to gain okay, one wood. Maybe activated twice. I have a old forest. To go it, along with your new forest? <laughs> old forest and new forest uh, produces two wood. And then there's a supplier, and that's a feature card. Each time you build a gray building, gain one gold and one victory point. An armor, and he produces one sword and a rubble. Production, one stone for each gray in an empire's max three. I don't know. At this time in the game, I don't know about production necessarily. I agree. Spend one, gain one, maybe activate it twice. But I think I like the sword one. Here. Nope, goes Here. Down. I will take the so armor is what I took. Supplier, which gives me stuff for building gray. All right. I will take the cheapest one to build because <clears throat> they're all kind of bad, or bad as we say in English. <laughs> they're all kind of bad. What did you take? The old forest. I got lots of those cards in my hand. Those right. types of cards. Drag. Oh, you made the new deck. Okay. I made a new deck. There's one original card left from that we haven't. Don't seen. forget, you get a card. Yes, you get a card from oh, during yeah. production. So take your production. This is our last production phase. Check all your deals and all your production things, and Lincoln gets an extra card from there. All right. Oh, that is. I keep putting action cards in my production. So I'm in this. That's my own issue. And I do this. And I do this and this. Um, are any of these worth anything at the end of the game? They are only the tiebreaker. Oh, that's right. I, I don't know if I said that on camera. At the end of the game, if there is a straight VP tie, you do not throw away your goods this round. Goods and workers total are the tiebreaker. And then the second tiebreaker. The ones you have not spent. Correct. Okay. Not the ones that are on the cards to sure, sure. be used, the ones that are in your supply. Second tiebreaker is cards in hand if it has to go that far. All right. Everybody, you checked your goods and got your stuff? Yeah. I'll raise this card with my sword for two wood. So, oh, that was just a card. Yeah. Just this card just there. I will. Would you get two wood? Mm -hmm. I will take this action. Mm. I can use any chip to indicate. Sure, fine, yes. And I will. And what does it do? Discard it a card. It allows me to discard a card points. for two. And I'll also put my shield on it. And I will discard this card. No. Yes, this card for two points. I will spend one worker to gain a raise token at my barracks. Okay. Darling Dave. <laughs> yeah. I want you to not be able to use one of your temples. Those are unraisable he can't, he can't locations. Raise those. He's only got two things and he's protected the one that's valuable uh, to him. She has a special location that can raise oh. anything for one. I do? Yeah. Isn't that what well, you're doing? Well, that's my chariot builder is what yeah. I'm trying to do. That's what I'm saying. Right. But, yeah. but not these because they don't uh, have a raise value. All right. You can just, you could, this you can ignore essentially. Right. I can? Yes. Yeah. But he's already used it. Correct. Yes. So but it doesn't make a difference. Two but you get two cards. cards. Do you want two cards? Yes, that's I sure do. All right. There you go. Okay. I was Raise just it. trying to make it expensive to get I, two cards. That's, that's why I did this. I mean, you I was going to take it, right? two cards. Yeah. One. You get the wood and flip it over. So I will pay a wood and this building to build the... Hey, let's check it out. It's one of the middle ones. So I'll spend three wood to do that, which is probably terrible. And then for each one of those, I'll get a point and some gold. Your turn, Dave. That's the mill. Okay. 
I will use this dark chapel to raise that card for four points. I'm going to build an apartment for two stone and a wood. It gets me three victory points for having three gold buildings, and I draw a card. Nice. I'm going to give myself three points. I don't know which kind of card I would like, but Mickey can go. Okay. I'll draw my faction card. Now that we've gone once around, this did hurt. It did? Good. Yep, I was going to spend two guys mm. yeah. to raise one of my own cards. Oh. And that Why was, is that any good? Because it was going to get me two cards. Oh. After I've used it. Awesome. Well, I wasn't going to let you do it either. You were going to have to. I was before you. On my turn, that's what I was oh, going to do. But right. Mickey beat me to it. It was a good, nice move. Good move. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I get a wood from this, don't I? Yeah. I'll I thought you took it. Off. I thought you did too. I didn't because I produced one wood and I haven't spent a wood okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. That was a great move. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to do the slaves for one and I get uh, two stone and a victory point. Two. Done. I will use the ninjas to take a sword. Okay. And then dump that card. Not that it really matters. Not really. But you get a sword for that, right? Yes. Nice. Yes. Well, it matters and it gets in the sword. No, it doesn't matter that you lose it. I will uh, do this. I'll spend one guy to draw two cards. I keep one and I discard the other. And I will draw from both of these places. And I will keep this one and get rid of that. I will protect my watchtower and build a supplier, which costs me a wood and two stone. Every time I build gray, I gain a victory point and a gold. So that was gray. I will gain a victory point and a gold. I'm going to build another slave thing. I'll just put it in here. So that's for my house and a stone. Done. Because these on this side are two points, yes, right? That's, so, that's, the, so you should build as many of those as you can. Even if it doesn't do me any good right now, you just it's still going to get me right. points. Yep. Right. Okay. So or you gained, this was already nothing, right? So that you gained two all, points. Yeah. I'm going to raise this card. For two wood. <coughs> I'm going to spend a wood and this guy, and I am going to build the pack. I'm going to put it here just so it can be seen. And that allows me on my turn to spend a guy, and I can choose an enemy, and I just gain one of the goods shown in their raise field. Cool. And I can do that twice. I'm going to build. A Roman fortress. I'm going to build it over my watchtower so no one can take two cards for that. It costs me two stone. That's and awesome. now every time I gain a black or build a black card, I get two points. Mm. He's going to win. That. I know. I knew. Uh, shh. We'll see. I honestly like didn't. That's we why, I, the crap that's out. why right. I did you what I did. You don't get to beat the crap out of him. Okay. Dave's still nine points ahead of me. Doesn't matter. That's why I did what I did. Uh, what am I doing? Now. Oh, I'm gonna use my slave guy again. So one pink worker gained two. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I also gained a gold because I built a Roman location. Excuse me for okay. yeah. backtracking and forgetting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Two stone. Yeah. And a victory point. You have two slaves? She did I build did. a second one. Nice. Yeah. Just, yeah. Nice. Slave it up. Done. I know it's horrible. Slave it up. <laughs> So oh, I will build whoa, oh, yep. a trade route, which costs me a, oh wait, do I want to do that? I guess it doesn't make any difference. I want to build red anyway. So um, it costs me a location and a stone, which is the gold. It's the same thing as the other one. Oh, right. Let's you make a deal and get get another. You can get a card out of this location for a food, right? You're done, right? That's not gonna work. Oh, that's true. That's nice. All right. Do you have any cards over there in your in your raise 
No. Spots. I have gold and points. How about you together. over there? Your two cards. She's got a gold, and that's it. And you don't have cards either, right? In nope. Your, in your All those spots. are gone. I've oh. not had any. I never had any. <laughs> yeah. I don't like Aaron and Pocky anymore. All right, for a wood in this location, I will build the saboteur. It allows me to spend a guy and take a resource from somebody. Boo. I can't take a gold. Yeah, I can only take a wood, a stone, resource. or a tomato. Oh, good. I don't have any of those. You might in just a second, and you have to build before my next turn. What? Nothing. What's he going to oh, do? Oh, I built red, by the way. Which oh, is sweet. Okay. Point and, uh, so you get a gold as well. I'm going to mine two gold from the gold mine. <laughs> Done. This game is awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Discard a card from your hand. <sighs> Me? Yeah. You think I'm the threat? I have no hand. And you uh, get a point out of that, And I get a right? point out of that. All right. I'm either going to beat you up or pat you on the back at the end of the game for choosing <laughs> the right or wrong target. Okay. I'm actually thinking I need to hit you with these two swords. Especially since I got no use for... I don't have any cards in my hand anymore. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, sure. It gets me four points, right? Yeah, And absolutely. it hurts you. It gets you a wood, and then I can steal it. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a deal with your card one there to sure. give me a card. We'll see if I can get a red one. Doubt it. That's all she has for endgame though, right? Yeah. Just those cards? Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna hit you. I think that's the way to go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna spend those two to hit me both of those. Let me look at them. I can't remember which is the one I liked better. <laughs> uh, spend one, one, and one to gain three, and spend two to gain two. Obviously the one that gains you three. So that gets me four victory points for the goods Return that I'm for the goods that I'm not using. One, two, three, four. Not that, not that you try. Oh, correct. And I'm sorry. You keep that and get. Oh, a and I get a foundation. And, and you get a, yeah, yeah foundation of wood, which is probably. And now you can steal it unless I use nah, it right now. Yeah, you spend it. Actually, I can't. I, it doesn't help me. I have no cards. All my right stuff now. takes stone. Well, I'll use that foundation. I'll build the architect for two stone and that foundation. Uh, yeah, that's a production building. That lets me draw two Roman cards and choose the one I keep. And I will spend the two stone. That You're I invading my territory. And I know it's. And you just built the. Is that building a Roman building? Yes. To so I also Shmegami? get either a gold or a victory point. Victory points at this point in time? Actually, I mean, if I can use the gold to build buildings, it's better, yep. right? Yep. So I need that. And I can't steal the gold. I will take the gold. Right. And, and it's unstealable, yeah. yeah. Well, by me. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you done? I need to figure out which one okay. of these I'm building, but you may go. You have to discard one, right? I do have to okay. discard one. Go ahead, DKP. I'm locking up my mason, and I'm using my mason's guild to gain three victory points. One, two, three. I will do some of these things before they get blown away or something. Um, one dude and two food to gain three points. I like the one dude and two food. I'm going to spend two guys to draw a faction card. End of turn. I'm going to build a gladiator school <laughs> for this location on a stone. I get two points from the fortress because it's a black location. And and you built a Roman card, right? Yeah. So Anything it's, on it's, this side is a Roman card, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So it's either Damn. a gold or a... It's a gold oh or a God. I'm glad point. I hit you. I think you might way. be right. I gotta. I just gotta choose a gold or a point. Go ahead, Nikki. Maybe. I'll choose it. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Ain't over till it's over. Uh. Yeah, I'm taking the gold still because I can do things with yeah. it. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Bloop bloop. Mason, one guy, one stone, two victory points. One two. Dude and a food. Dude and a food. Dude, a big farmer get two. Um, all right, I'm gonna spend my pack. I'm gonna do that twice, and I get to choose someone's race field and get one of those goods. Mm. Do that to take your victory points, and I'll score two points. Thank you for your patience. I will build a mason for two stone. That gets me a gold and a victory point because I built a gray card. 
Here's your victory point. Thank you, sir. Done. I shouldn't have drawn from here. Ah, okay. It's only just a one point upgrade, right? Mm -hmm. I have to spend a point to get to mm -hmm. Sorry. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. So I'm going to raise this. Whoop, whoop. Right, and I use the sword yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. And I get a worker and and a wood. Okay, a Lincoln. That goes away. I will build the diplomacy school. And that gives me, uh, costs a wood and a location. Production locations are not really doing any good anymore. Right, right. right. Well, it's one point, which is not wonderful. Right, but you get, <coughs> so first off, before this happens, you built a red card, yep, so, so take a victory point and a gold. gold. Yep. Let's not forget that. And now what does that do? During production phase. Oh. oh yes. you can, I can substitute goods but to, it, to gain it, but it one point for good. It was actually three victory points, right? Because yours are one, two, three, so at least no, yours no, no, is a no. two point. That upgrade. is a raise oh, you're right. it's not an extra victory point. But it is an extra point for the red card. That's right? true. Yeah, it was a two point. I game. will spend two guys to draw one of these. Done. I'm going to spend one guy and a stone to gain two points from the Sculptor's Workshop. Done. Okay, I'm going to use my Sanctuary, so I'm Sanctuary! Sanctuary. Aww. There is no... Sanctuary! <laughs> uh, so, yes, I spend That's a worker, right. choose a card from my hand to be a... Oh, a... Le uh, a thing Location. about Foundation. 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 This one. Oh. Never. And um, I gain a stone for that. Mm -hmm. And a wood. And, and a wood? Instead uh, of a wood. Gain one instead of, sorry. Stone instead of a wood. And a victory. Trade route. Aaron, I want the card. Oh, it'll be a bit for me. All right. I am going to turn two of these guys in for a wood. Spend a oh, tomato. Right? tomato. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Same here. Spend that. Truthfully, we'd rather yeah, spend that. Yeah, it's much one better, actually. Hang on. I was keep looking at that one. The before I do that, before I do that, let me just make sure I'm doing this correctly. That would get me a point, but the card does me no good. So yes, I will trade this in for a whip. Done. I spend this gold to build a gladiator school. I spend this gold. And I build over this. Well, yeah. Um, I now get three points. One from the, two from the fortress and one from the administration bonus. What does a gladiator school do? Uh, it can spend a guy to gain swords, but I have three buildings that do that, and I don't necessarily need any more swords right now. I will build for a foundation. Yep. Oh, this goes over here. Uh, a, the gold bazaar. That's pretty bizarre. <laughs> it is pretty bizarre. <laughs> Boo. So that goes out. Enjoyed it. <laughs> and that is it. It was silly, but I enjoyed it. What was it? Gold, oh, gold, gold bazaar. It's... Spend, it's good, right? It, well, it's earlier bizarre, in the game, sure. it would have been great. It's a uh, spend a food to gain a gold and a uh, victory point. Oh, okay. But now it's just my two points. Okie dokie. I will spend the wood and this location. Sorry, Dave. No worries. To build the stalls. All right. Which Take. gives me a gold and a victory point and for a your victory mill. Point. Nice. You're all, you guys are always on top of each other. And the stalls <laughs> is? Spend tomato to get a victory point. Sweet. You can do that twice? Yeah, I can do that. Tomato. All right. Wood and this gold is a wood. I will build this second century tower, which is a one point upgrade for this. Right? Because I have to spend this to get to... And you get the sword and the guy. The, I don't know, that's good. Maybe in the tiebreaker. Yeah, right. Thank you. Uh, I will spend a guy and a stone at the mason to gain two points. Oh, I should have gotten rid of that one. I got three other buildings that do that. <laughs> you keep saying that. Mickey. I can't do that anyways. Okay, I'm going to build a barracks. 
I don't have room. Ooh, nice. Well, I got two don't put it over there, Aaron will score for it. I know. <laughs> uh, so that's a wood and two stones, so I'm going to spend a gold okay. as a stone. What does that get you? That Just... would get me if I had more pinky dudes. I can uh, spend, spend a guy, a guy for, for and swords. gain yeah. a sword. But it looks like that's essentially her last move. Well, she's she gets her a point. She's out. I know. Yeah. She, yeah. She's out of cards and goods, so gosh, you got a point. And it can be used twice. Yes. Thank It'd you. been nice for hurting people. I guess I can go like that I now. I will spend. Oh, I should have spent this two location. Cards to that. Then I would have gotten and a guy which is my but... pig farmer. Sadly, he's gone now. Should I be quiet? No, no, no. I apologize. And uh, this will be the wood or the stone. So another red one gives me another gold. And another another victory point. Nice. All right. I will raise this card in my hand since I can. And I get a food and a victory point. I will, since Nikki's about to pass, I will raise this Mason's Guild and take a gold and a stone. Because I need the stuff. Sorry, Nikki. So this goes away. This, it actually becomes a foundation, and you get a wood. Fantastic. I can't wait to use it. And it's your turn. <laughs> and now I pass. All right, then no one else can take <laughs> 10 deaths with you. I will do this. Stalls. Two points. Two, Two points for Lincoln. Boop. All right, so I pass. This tomato goes here. There's no point in me drawing a card, right? There's no card I'm going to be able to build for just this. I don't believe so. I mean, but there's no point in look? making a deal. Because uh, it won't get me any points. But right, it'll get you a gold that you could... You don't have anything else to use workers on? No. Yeah. No, I, yes. I should have I should have raised that first. Yes, you got I me A worker in a wood. Worker in two, two wood. Two wood, yeah. And then maybe I could have drawn something for two wood. Yeah. But I didn't, so these go here, this goes here. No, back. you keep this on the final Oh, round. you're right. It's a tiebreaker. Um, I spend two workers to draw a Roman card. All right, I'm going to just see the card I would have gotten. Fine. It's perfect. Oh my god, it is perfect. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I drew a card, Lincoln. I'm gonna do the negotiator. Okay. He will let me take one of my deals and immediate build, oh, build yeah. it, ing ignoring the uh, the location cost. Yep, so I so oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's great. Nice. Do you get anything for black? No. <clears throat> I don't think so. Do you have a red deal? What do you mean? Do you have? Is your other deal red? You get stuff for no, red. No, see, it's gold. No. So oh, thank you. It. I will build a young sculptor for one stone and a location. Whenever I build gray, I get a gold and a victory point. Oof. Yeah. No, it's not that. Oh, you yeah. uh, go to the devil, sir. I'm, Lincoln, you got more? I'm done oh, yeah. for now. Lincoln's got um, stuff. Yeah, well, I'm running out. Well, I got uh, Go, Lincoln, go, go. So I will spend, go, I'll use this Lincoln, foundation go. as a foundation to build the sake distillery, mm. and that will be the one wood, and that gives me um, a gold and a victory point for building pink. So uh, two, right? You have two pink. Is it for each? No, it's pink? for each time I build. I have uh, not built that thank one. You. I built that one after the fact. And that card, please. The mill. Yep. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, um, I will use my barracks to gain a sword. I'm gonna get a card. And Aaron. I will raise his trade route for a victory point. This one uh -huh. do. Sorry. You should have put that shield on there. For what? He can't you can't do it on those kind of oh. things. This goes away? Yeah. Just I mean, Does it. he get a wood for it? Nope. Way? Japanese locations, no. And back to Lincoln. This is an interesting end in that these two yeah, are yeah, going right. to be hitting well, I got, each other. I got, no, I got two more actions, but... Well, no, he just he had the two swords, right? That was it. So I will spend... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Two. To build this production, or whatever it is. Yep. An yeah. action card. Okay. I spend two on Young Sculptor and get two points. I will build... Use this as the foundation. Oops, sorry, Dave. No worries. Two dudes. 
These guys go away anyway. Right? Yeah. And I will build build a geisha house. Oh. You're going to lock that down? That oh, you that. can't. It doesn't matter. He can't hit it now. Nope. He can put a worker on it to lock it. But I'm done. I have no swords. I have one mm. gold. So, um... It's a production I building, so you do get... Build. He gets yeah, a yeah, gold and a victory point yeah. for building that. Oh, yeah. And he also gets... No, that's an action, right? No, it's a production building. Oh. He's putting it in the wrong row. He oh. gets three workers. Okay, yeah. Yep. Look at that. I spend my other young sculptor my last gold, and I have another one more point. I highly recommend using two workers to yeah, draw two, this yeah, card. Yeah, I will. So I'm gonna take. That would have been mine. No, oh, was it? It's it's really? One, it's you're one, cheating? You're telling them that it's, it's a good a card? One well, I was going to do that anyway. He was in need a foundation. Anyway. Then I should have drawn. I'm done. I pass. You so, couldn't draw. You didn't have workers. I did when you went out. Yeah, you used them in much better effect. I'm going to pay gold, uh, gold as wood to build that. Yeah, it was a wood. And by the way, that's pink. pink. Yeah, so it gives so me you get a gold and a, a gold point. and a victory point, and whatever it produces. What does it produce? People looks like a part yeah, pimp two pink. People. Oh. See, I would have had I would have um, had two people in the wood, and another point, and then I could use those two people to draw this card. Tell I, me, tell me more about what you could have done. Okay, with. well. <laughs> So I will spend, this will be a, go a stone, this will be the foundation, and that gives me um, nothing. Nothing, it's an action. Do you yeah. have anything that, what does this do? No, no, you need it in here. Wait, no, it's an action, okay. And this is the one we dumped. And, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if it's, I guess, maybe I could get something I built for one. You might. It could be, that could be a one point card. Two, no. Nope. So. Watchtower. Okay, keep the card and the gold. Yep. Oh, okay. because they're good. They're, they're tiebreakers. Right. Okay. All right. So, final scores mid game. Okay. Nikki has, uh, let's see. Mid game? Well, I mean, and this points the, that we, points that we scored during the game. And now right all here. the end game scoring. Right. Okay. Um, Nikki the Egyptians gets three points for common locations. Yep. Okay. And does that one count? It's oh, flipped. I'm sorry. No, it's only two. That's a, that was a yeah. kill one you took from. Her. And two, yes. four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen points in uh, faction locations for forty-five. Okay. Japan has no common locations, and starting at thirty-four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 more points for a nice round 60. Oh, I got plus 50 on the back. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 added to your 33 is 55. Not enough. And I have... Choke on it. Five in common locations. And... 10, 16, 20, 24, 28. Boo. <laughs> 65. I won by five. It was five close. points. It was close. 75? 65. 65 oh, yeah, yeah. to 60 okay. to 55 to 45. That's the end of the game. Nice. You were right to make me discard those yes. cards. You were right. You knew yeah. I was going to win. I honestly, honestly... I mean, let's talk about what we thought about the game, but I have played this a couple more times than you guys. Not a lot, by any means. And I thought I was losing terribly at the beginning. Yeah, I built sense. one card my first turn. I scored my very first victory point in round four, when right. you guys were already up at 15 and 20. But so you, it's hard to tell. But you had a good faction engine if you could draw those cards. Mm -hmm. like, yes, I did. Like, there's probably cards in here I haven't looked yet. There's probably cards in here that let me just trade guys for points. I don't know. Because I'm a guy's You're a guy's reader. guy, yeah. And I never really found them. He's a guy's guy. Well, since there are also, the food to, um, to do points, then I'm almost positive you must have something like that. Right. Let me, let me make my two main points about the game and then ask you guys what you thought. Okay. But, I mean, I think it's obvious to all of us that there is definitely card luck in the game, right? Mm -hmm. You draw the right cards that, that feed into the resources you have, then you're going to build them. You draw the cards that gain points for the resources you have, you're going to, you know, there. you could definitely draw the wrong things at the beginning of the game. It nice to get the Daimyo's Castle. That was at the bottom of my deck. You've yeah. also got a couple big point-generating cards that, you know, for extra goods and cards would give you end game points. Nikki didn't draw her... 
that one that gives you an extra point every time you make two points, the Sphinx. Yeah. That's a huge point generator for, for Egypt. I'll she didn't tell draw any you pyramids, also. which are her good production buildings. It, what? It's a lot of luck. Tell us Sphinx, all the cards. Sphinx's Alley. Yeah. I never well. got another card to give me that extra gold that was taken from me. Otherwise, this would have been huge. Because I would yes. get a gold from here and a gold from here. Every production. And what does Sphinx's Alley get you? And Sphinx's two Alley two is two gold, two points. As many, uh, twice a turn. So when that was taken... Right. And I never got the opportunity for a gold production, so I'm like, erga. All right, so other than the uh, the luck that can definitely be felt, what did you guys think about it? I mean, you had fun most of the time while you were playing. Yeah, I really like it. My my issue for me, at least with this uh, faction, was that I just couldn't get cards. I was trying to build up swords to, I mean, I don't see those cards for me, right? This was the only thing that could do it, and I got no stone. And so I was using what I could to do it, and I did okay. I mean, obviously, did, I came you, in second, you, but... You did more than okay. I mean, despite yeah. despite what you just said and how you felt, you only came in second by five points, and you beat me. It was tough. I mean, it was definitely tough. I, I definitely like it, but boy, is it a pain in the rear, because this one, I couldn't... You know, wood, I barely had any wood. I had one building that produced one wood. Uh, my production was bad. It was mostly food, and... Pink, pink I mean, everybody pink. is skewed one way or the other in production. Right. I, I don't have any wood producing buildings. I have one on my empire, and that's it. Right. And a couple to, you know, so like there's different ways to get different resources. Until you raise your own this, cards, I was you raise wood. the other enemy's cards. I got you. five wood from you guys raising my cards, to yeah. be honest with you. Wow. wow. There, there were two daimyo's castles, which are neat. Yeah. Where they, what do they do? victory point for each samurai in your empire, right? That was cool. Um, would you place more samurai then? Yeah, I well, mean, I would have gotten three. six points. Oh, it's max three. So I mean, he, he got I two, out of two more victory points. Yeah. Then the other one was each time you make a deal to dojo, oh. you gain a victory point, which yeah. would have been the that would have been that's a huge one. I mean, every time you make a deal, yeah, wow. or, or a those. deal. Oh wow, that yeah. goes well with whatever that yeah. one was called. Then, uh, trade route was that trade route? That's, that's what I'm saying. Like there are sort of core buildings for every civilization. Well, he had and sometimes three trade routes. I didn't notice that because Aaron took one, right? I did raise one. Yes, he had three. That was nice. My game actually, I mean, I'll talk about the game in just a second, but since we're talking about it, I had the exact opposite game in a way, which was, I, I think I had a great start. And somewhere in the middle of round four and most of round five, I really didn't have a lot to do. And I didn't have a lot of stuff to build. And all of my moves at the end were just trading one for two and one mm -hmm. for two and one for two. And at that point, I was almost better off probably just drawing these and building as many of these as I could mm -hmm. and letting you guys raise them if you had to. And then once you raise them, I could upgrade them because right. then at least right. they were doing me no good. But um, but I I did I felt like I did I I probably did anywhere from a th half to two to three fifths of the moves you guys did at the end. Yeah, yeah but ours was all yours was loaded early. It you was had the dudes. It was front it was absolutely it was, front loaded, yeah. but but part of the problem with being front loaded was A, I got hit a lot, which makes sense because I'm ahead at that point. And B, uh, I didn't have great stuff to do at the end. Now, again, I haven't looked at the deck. Having said that, um, uh, the thing that we were talking about this before, I was, I was trying to figure out how much the raising was going to bother me or not. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I. There is a, there is a peaceful variant. Which where you don't do the raising, you can but still you still do, do all the these cards, right? right? You can raise from a card effect, but you cannot raise for two swords to knock down someone else's. What building. do the swords do in the peaceful variant? Do you not use? Them? You use one to oh, raise from your, your own your hand, card, right, yeah. or you use like Nikki's building that was place a yeah. sword to raise anything. That would still work, right? It right. just takes away the, two the thirds of, of the yeah, offense. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, Japan because because of that factor that all your cards can be raised. And the food-heavy production is kind of thought to be maybe the most difficult faction. I can't keep anything. I can only keep food. So that it's very, it's a very finesse-driven uh, faction. I think that you have to yeah, be able to. Yeah, finesse is the right word. Right, you know, and that's not a bad thing. Well, it's also just, you'd never played it before, so it's true. you were learning it as you went, right? I mean, right. clearly with you guys and being able to draw more cards, I needed that sort of. And right. probably to have be grabbing off here. I pulled them out. I have. Um, I think they're here for her, right? That's, I have I think three they're here for deal ones. And that's interesting. Okay, that mm. that I could have tucked. I never got them though. Oh. And I have one oasis that if you, if another person spends two workers, then I can either. Um, 
gain a, a worker of my own or gain a card. Wow, is that a feature card? Yeah. Oasis, yeah. Wow. It's It goes here. But that seems really good. It is a really right. good one. But it, there's only one in the deck, yeah, and right. then the rest of my card generating ones are if I turn them into deals. So actually, I was going to ask you if a lot of the cycle through your card cards are in that. Well, yeah, that's watch what towers, I was going to say. Right? I mean, there's there's two, three, four watchtowers and a couple castles. Not just okay. that, but cards that let you just trade in. A so sword it may for be cards, a little. Right? Those are the main extra card card-draw card draw things, and that may be sort of a problem if they're all in the common deck. And they mostly re depend on luck for whoever's up first to grab them. Then that's you know that's going to swing pretty heavy. Yep. I built a watchtower and used it for several turns. Yes. Plus, I think I raised a second one or something. Right. Like. Right. I feel like those may be pretty powerful cards, and right, well, relying on the luck of how the common deck flows but out. But they're since, sexy to raise as well, right? Uh, of course. That's right. Since, since the, uh, I mean, clearly it's. Mine are easier to build. That's why I don't have the card generators. Right. Okay. You right. don't have any card deals. I was deals. just wondering how yeah, I just people's have, I have the Buddhist decks compare to mine. That during production, draw two, keep one, which you guys were using, something like that. Yeah, I think most people have and, something And you like reshuffle that. it into the deck, which is nice. And then the shrine. Oh, you do? I didn't even realize that. I this one well, does. Got, yeah, no, they all do. We all, have a, we all have a similar thing. thing. A similar thing. I actually, thing. Listen, I actually like th this is possible, right? I mean, the idea of kind of... Figuring out a way to, to set up your engine and hopefully you get the right cards. I mean, the, the the huge card for you was the one that got you a point for every one of these cards you built. Yeah. And you got that early enough. But I have three of those. I just ma I managed... No, I got that on like turn three. Right, but that was long before you built a lot of these. True. You, you got at least five or six points out of that card. At least. And five points is the margin of the game, right? So That's true. Really, uh, I, I mean, I like the... Escalation and ramping up of this game. The the first two turns almost don't matter how well you're doing. You turns three and especially four and five are so much huger as we see. Right. You know, I, literally, I had zero points going into turn mm -hmm. four. So right. everything that I did was turn four and five. I, I sort of. I mean, it obviously means turn four and five are going to take longer and they're much more complex. Right. But I like the sort of. No matter what you do, it's going to ramp up like well, that. Well, that is a potential knock against the game. It didn't. It didn't bother me, but there is that notion of uh, the the decision tree gets longer every round. Sure. When you have more stuff to do and more things to sort of pay attention sure. to. Well, and not only that, but more opponents to pay that's attention to. That's the other to. thing I think. I like. I really like this game. I think it's a lot of fun. But I I can't see the cards. I, I mean, I can only see the ones in front of me. They're I really cannot teeny. see any other ones. So. Yeah. All I can judge is what I could potentially get for destroying it. Right. And then I won't get to judge. I'd have to have you read me everything. Exactly. Lincoln, what does that guy do? Yeah. I can, there's right. no mm -hmm. way. Even the, like, right. like as you guys that had problems card, with I, the... I wish we all does this had card, a deck of cards, a, a, a cheat sheet a cheat that showed sheet. every race. So you could just flip through and look. So you don't have to pester people to right. look at that stuff. Or even, right. even every time we Not do cards. Not that I was getting to destroy a lot, but when I did, I... You know, right. I basically right. chose it because it was going to give me, which is fine. Which is, which but is at the same good. time, you, you, you should know you what the powerful ones are. Hinder somebody's in some way. Right. Well, Obviously, like, these don't matter. You right. can't, since you can't destroy them, except for me. Right. Right. All of these matter. Right. Uh, so I guess everybody would need a a a, 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 a cheat sheet with my cards. Even with, I had even these though, tokens. Right. Which was basically if I got a card and could put it into production, I could put one of these tokens on one of your guys's producers or whatever and get that action from you essentially yeah, steals but the card for the turn essentially so shuts our action down and takes it herself yes yeah wow. but yes. Is I that kinda, over here? it's any building. yeah wow i think well, it's a great game i do i do too and I, I mean i'm liking it quite a bit some of that is first game problems we don't know any of these cards right i right. still feel it'd be You'd have to play it enough to make that. But remember, you know, like I'm just looking over here. I know your top row is production. Right. No, so I see that. that that produces people and that produces people and that produces people. It's really only the action cards that you need to know the, what they do. And, and interestingly, again, the production are color coordinated. So any pink production card is a person. Yes. Right? And any red production card is, is food. food. Now, it might be other stuff, but it is right. primarily those things. So at least that's color coordinated. And... And no, I mean it's very slick. I mean, yeah. I love this. The 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 common cards are one, and then your cards are another color. It, and the although I wasn't getting the locations 100 percent every time, well, I, I screwed them up a bunch of times. Yeah. I kept putting action stuff in the production row. 
Um, what do you well, think, Nick? I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. I would like to play the Egyptians again. I feel like I really need to... Um, you need to be able to get through your cards. Yeah. I, I had a lot... I, looking now at the end of the game, I had a lot of cards that if I could cycle through, I could have gotten my production going better, which would have helped can you completely. Get, can you get through your cards? It seems like it'd be so hard to do. I, I, apparently you can, based on a strategy article on BGG. Okay. <clears throat> I, I, it would be very difficult to do. Like you said, you the know, traveling artist using the actor's troop to actor's clear. Troop, thank you. Like so, you could draw four cards a turn with the castle if you're lucky. But again, it would still cost me three actions and, and four workers and a worker. And a fifth to, worker. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying it can't be done, but at least it would get me cards. But yeah, but it, I mean, it, it it requires luck. You you make a couple deals with card drawing locations, right? And you get a watchtower and a castle. Yeah, and, if you and, get. If Buddha's you, temple. So you, if you get a card drawing deal, turn but according one, to uh, some master strategists, supposedly it is possible to draw sixty or seventy cards in a game. <laughs> right. It is. It is tough. I will tell you. <laughs> so let me just say, um, the f this game also has an interesting solo game in the box. There's just a one or two pages of rules, so you can play this on your own. One player game. You play mm -hmm. your. You play your empire. You play the five rounds. Which empire? Anyone uh, you want. Anyone you want. Okay. And it, and it runs exactly the same. Obviously, there's no uh, there's no enemy to worry. Well, there is an enemy to worry about, and that's what these cards do. Okay. This AI empire <laughs> just uh, <laughs> every round you get your faction card, and then you get first and third choice in a four card draft. The enemy player takes a random card when there's three left, and the fourth card that you didn't choose. And so every turn, the enemy has two locations, mm. which you can raise with swords to gain the goods. Um, and they also... Two every turn... Two of these locations. Yeah, uh, common yeah, locations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, every turn, they turn over two new cards, and you check to see if any of your cards match exactly two of these, so they can raise your own locations as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... Um, essentially, you just play a solo game to see how many points you can get, but you also have to build more faction locations than the enemy total locations that they build. You count their two locations every turn, if you haven't raised any of them, plus any of your locations that they attack and raise. So this AI player could have 8, 10, 12, 14 cards by the end of the game, and you are supposed to build more than that to win the solo game. I have found that winning is most of the time pretty simple, but Seeing how many points you can get is really fun. And you can play it in like 15 minutes. Wow. Hmm. That sounds cool. It's very cool. And then the other thing is uh, there are no expansions for this brand new game yet, but there are definitely planned expansions, well, which sure. would do, of course, uh, introduce new empires. But before that, they're going to introduce new cards for the existing empires, and then you it essentially becomes a little bit of a deck builder. You always choose 30 Roman cards or 30 Egyptian cards or 30 of your culture, but you'll have more to choose from and you'll essentially construct mm. an empire deck ahead of the game. Or you just play with what's in the box, but right. that's what the expansions will Interesting. do. Interesting. Make it a little bit more customized. That's the exact sort of thing that I would never need to do. Right. But but I it's but you know yeah, people like Oh my god, yeah. The deck the, the ability to build a deck and do that. That sounds like it'll be fun. And I really like, I mean, a lot of times we talk about, oh, hey, the art's really nice in this game. The, yeah. the production's really good, but I really like these. Other than, other than the, the readability fonts, fonts yeah. yes. But the art on the locations themselves, mm -hmm. I really like. Yeah, it's, these, it's these yeah. squat little rounded people, and they're doing what they do at that building. I've got people lined up at the administration to, like, petition the governor. Yeah. There's kids peeking into the bathhouse. There's legionnaires at my legion that have barbarians peeking around the rocks <laughs> to look at them. Well, just the thought, just, that, just really the thought cool. that they put the roads in so that they lined up correctly, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You do. Well, you get a feel you of get building your little colony and stuff. Your uh, female or your male. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. I forgot I to mention. No wonder they're all double sided. They're all double sided. Yeah. They're all double sided. Women or men. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, I played my lady. I didn't even see that. That's you, awesome. I, I saw played you guys had man the Were we were all women. No, I think you we, two. He was a guy. Oh. Did you? He played the girl side. He too? played the girl side too. But the gauge was really pretty on that one. Yeah, the gauge was nice. <laughs> I agree. I don't like this barbarian. I like her better. Like <laughs> well, thanks for teaching us, Aaron. No. All right.